Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero hey Page guys. Homebrew, and welcome everyone back to the show once again. Um, this is where we play new games on classic consoles, the Atari 2600. And if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, make sure you do because YouTube screws things up. If you're watching later on YouTube, it does not transcode to 30 frames a second very well. The audio strays. I don't know. Huge company can't get their shit together. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. They've but if you're, watching on on, if you're watching on Twitch, um, you already are watching at sixty frames a second. And I was just saying to James, we have some people in the chat who said, you know, are there are there any developers in the chat? I was like, it's amazing that on yeah. our show, it's just commonplace that the people who develop these games hang out with us. I think that's like the coolest thing. I love it. I've, I mean, I, every every episode, I do let the developers know that their game is being played on the show. And, you know, it's 11 a.m. Some have, you know, they yes. have to work and Some do other things. Some people, it's better. Some people, if they're in Europe, they're probably able to watch it. So it depends on the timing, depends if they get the, the message soon enough. Totally. Um, but I do let all of them know. So um, they have a chance to be able to come on and talk about their sh their game and answer questions. I think it's it's fun. And it is, and it is kind of funny. That there's an expectation now yeah. that that the developers are, do come on because usually there's at least one. Almost always. Yeah. And that's always the coolest too because they give us little tips or like even yeah. just their responses. Some people are nervous. Some people are stoked. Yeah. Some people will be like, here's an Easter egg. You know, it's, it's <laughs> yes. what, the whole range is fun. Now I know EA Smith um, is very aware that his game Championship Golf is on the show because I've been talking back and forth with him. So if he is able to be here, he I'm sure he would want to be here, but uh, not yet. No new subscriber badges. Actually, there is a new Ooh. subscriber badge. If you look on me, on mine, let's just say, let's see, new badge. There you go. There's the new badge. Which one's? Oh, is that's that's it's, like it's a, the '80s kind of. It's a retro wave, man. Yeah, and it's got the Atari symbol in the back. It's very tiny there. Let's see if I can hover my mouse over it so you can see it here. I've um. No, you can't. But um, let's see. There. Oh no, I don't know how you see it bigger, but it's it's got nice, cool little logo, and I'm gonna probably redo the other one so they look a little bit better. Um, but yes, there is now a 12-month subscriber badge. We just need someone to, to subscribe. Reach, I think somebody's really close. Yeah. There's some really close people. See if I have my thing open. No, I don't. But there's some real close. Like Ground Trooper. Is um, definitely just subscribed to resubscribe today. And he's up to 10 months. Holy shit. So he's got two months to go to get to the next one. So he's got the, uh, the Z9 right now on there. I, so, we're, we're definitely past our like anniversary year. Oh, yeah. At least for me, I know that like it's yeah. We're, we're like almost a year and a half in, which is but wild. I didn't start those badges yeah. for, for a little while or start the subscriptions or anything. Um, so some people are. I know there's somebody at eleven months that's really wow. close to twelve, which is why I had to do that badge. Um, well, yeah, you want to especially for the year, like to, oh to yeah, be with huge. us for a year is insane. And subscribe for a year. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you, Ground Trooper, for subscribing today. So the games we're going to be uh, doing, uh, playing today are Championship Golf by EA Smith, as I said, Egg Venture 2600 um, by Urel Silks, a.k.a. Scumsoft. I don't think he's around in the hey, Atari Dan. Age forums anymore. Hey, Dan, ABC. <laughs> um, Bifrost by uh, David Weevil, S0C7, and Diamond Drop... Uh, by Atarius Maximus, and I was in contact with him because we played his game on uh, a show a week ago on Wednesday. Oh, which game? And I game? did let him know. Now you're putting me on Sorry, the spot. Sorry, man. I can't uh, remember. Don't worry about it, then. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it back. Uh, Cave-In. Oh, shit. He yep. did Cave-In? That was yep. cool. Yep. So, um, and, you know, when I get these people's names up and i've never played a game of theirs before i bring up all the names of the other games that they've made and i go check out some of the other games and that's why this one's on so you did diamond drop we're going to play that today so i want to thank everybody uh that's chatting with us and watching it live dan avc ground trooper splendid nut mallard games i supposed uh azure uh, 6502 buddhist. militant buddhist one uh <laughs> as i say splendid nut and everybody else who is 
watching but not talking uh, in the background. So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers as well. Charles and Check, Gretams, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Retro Happy Hour, Sir Cat Legs, Sound Wizard, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, wow. and Tiki Dan K. So lots of subscribers and... All the usual suspects. All the usual suspects. And you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And Ground Trooper. And right. Ground Trooper. Oh yes. Last minute. <laughs> but I thanked you like three times already. So, but yes, you you are on that list. You're just I love these too slow to make I've it on here. I always wondered like, is that's just is that just what pops up if you do like the you know like oh these little things semicolon oh, smile? Yes. Yeah, okay, there, there we go. go. It just it's in the form of a robot panda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what little, it feels like to be a robot little, panda. Little ears, little black eyes. Oh, there, hey, militant Buddhist. There he is. Welcome Hello, to fellas. the show. Um, so the Stella fundraiser. It's coming up fast. Two days. Yeah, dude. Two days away. It's going to be on Friday. We're going to be starting at noon, which is an hour from now. Um, our time. And going for 12 hours. This guy's going to be there. That's right. On Friday? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> and they're going to be Friday. here for so long, too. Yeah, 12 hours. So you'll get our, your fill of us. And I haven't figured out break. what liquor I'm going to bring yet. I have to decide. Yeah. I yeah. have to decide what we're going to do. It's, it'll be good, though. <laughs> liquor no and snacks? What. Yeah, li and pizza? Just liquor. Just Starting at noon. Liquor. This is. Do shot games? It'll be blackout drunk. No, <laughs> that's not what we're going to do. Yeah, just a shot that would of be us a... all blacked out. Uh, or yes. just me. Tanya's like sipping wine, <laughs> happily playing. I'm just like, oh, the controller. <laughs> uh, yes, the Stellathon. It's going to be awesome. Stella Fundraiser Marathon, July 12th, noon for 12 hours, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. And Darcy's going to be here, too. Darcy's going to be here. Which is wild, because I, have, gonna be I actually have only hung out with Darcy maybe three times in my whole life. Once for the uh, award show. That's right. Um, um, once for, like... A gaming night? Uh, a gaming night, and then when we went to go see your movie. Oh, yes. Okay. And then I think he was here for some of your, like, uh, marathons. Oh, movie marathons, So yes. maybe, like, maybe we'll say four or five... But so, like, I'm excited to just hang out with him because like he's... Over an extended period of time. Totally. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. Because he's a really interesting guy. And it's hilarious because, like, from your guys' perspective, <laughs> you write, like, you we, we oscillate, you know? Oh, like, yes. Yeah, from, yeah, you guys see these guys all the time. But we don't... They know you, but you don't know each other. Yeah, I know <laughs> Tanya well. way better than Darcy because oh, yeah, Tanya's here all the time. Yeah. Um, but even but even that I know obviously I know James the best. <laughs> James yeah, is who I spend most time with. <laughs> yes, uh, and and I've known Darcy since I was thirteen. Yeah, so which is a very long time. Which is also say. why I'm stoked to see them hang out more together to <laughs> sort of see what the I should just watch one of the shows. But you it's, could do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it'll be neat. So the newest donations for the auction. Some more coming in. Um, so Arena Foot has donated his books. Oh shit! For man. the auction, uh, the Atari Twenty Six Hundred Homebrew Companion, Scribe. Volume One and Two, signed by Ed Freeze, who was the head of Microsoft and did Jesus. Halo Twenty Six Hundred. Uh, this is a great game. Yes, uh, signed by Daryl Spice Jr. as well, because his games are in there. Yeah. Um, and Volume Two is signed by Brock Kesley, Kes Kesky, uh, who did Nexion Three D, and it's also signed by Brian Mathern himself, Arena Foot. Those are some. That's pretty good. Uh, the other friend, no, he lives a little far away. He won't be here for the marathon. Sorry. He was he was interestingly there for the twenty four hour. No, for the for the award show, wasn't he? Yes, he helped out. That's yeah, right. He, he yeah. did. He he manned the console, and it was the most stressful <laughs> job of all time. Here, play. Use a program you've never done done before, and do it perfectly. On the fly. On the fly, learning. And James will <laughs> jump Freak on you. If you yes. <laughs> and 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 healthily too. It's like he's he's keeping the show running. He's producing this fucker. Yeah, producing while I'm on the show. Yeah. It's difficult. It's I don't, challenging. I don't think many people do that. That's no, not, that's, that's not, not a typical. good idea. But you know, we're not like a super serious Brown show that has sponsors and stuff. So yeah. it's all good. We're not gonna mess uh, piss anybody off. Um, another huge donation came in from Dan Kitchen. Oh, shit. He is donating a complete inbox signed copy of his upcoming game, Gold Rush, which is not even out yet. So that's that an is, insane offer, guys. Yeah, that's really so good. That's going to be a great auction item. 
and he's. I haven't even played that. I mean, I haven't even seen it. anything. Like, oh, I mean, oh, we, sorry, we did watch we a little bit. We did show, a but it bit. looks epic. Yeah, only he's played it. <laughs> Nobody else has played. it. Of course, that's hilarious. I'm like, I haven't even played it. Like, <laughs> since... No one has. <laughs> yeah. Just revealed how much I know about Gold Rush, friends. <laughs> that's right. Yay. Um. So I do have a schedule. A uh, little bit of a schedule. Okay. Cool. Right now, of who is going to be on the show, because people are going to do some video call-ins, audio call-ins, and also Q and A's as well for people who don't like their face or voice being Makes sense, broadcast. Man. And there's a lot of those people. So we're oh, gonna are they going to write those up? Yeah, I've already oh, got cool. them done. Oh, sick! I, 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 can, I can read, read some. some out. Yay! Yeah. Okay, that'll be fun. I um, like reading. So there, we're going to have a little monitor here. It's a uh, CRT monitor, old school television. And that's where the video call-ins are going to be. Call it the HAL 8000, because it was the 9000 that was the mistake. (laughs) Yeah, we don't want the the (laughs) going off on us and locking us out into space. That's right. So it's going to be like they're there with us. Their face is going to be right on the show. And I think that's going to be really cool. Um, So it's going to start at noon, our time. Um, And the first one is going to be Thomas Jentz. Um, He's going to be coming in via phone. He's in Europe. Um, and he's going to be talking with us. And then 2 p.m. is John Champo from Champ Games. He's Yay. going to be on video there, I think. Um, and then Daryl Spice Jr. is going to be at 3 p.m. with us. Um, Dan Kitchen is going to be here at 4 p.m. with us. Um, and Steve Anthony, who is the uh, maintainer of Stella, the thing we're doing the whole Stellathon for, is going to be with us at 5 p.m. Uh, via Q&A on a sheet. And i um, still working on uh, Al Yeruso, the um, guy who runs Atari Age. <laughs> He's going to be hopefully with us. Um, and maybe Nathan Strum, the artist extraordinaire. I'm going to get him on Q&A if I can. <coughs> <clears throat> you should do a walkthrough of upgrading Stella on Retron. Pretty boring. Uh, pretty easy too. So maybe I can do it really quick. Yeah. Yeah, because I think we'll be pulling out the uh, Stella or the Retron seventy seven as well a little bit, um, because that um, probably when I'm doing the Q and A um, answers with um, um, what's his name? No, no, my thing's gone. Um, with uh, Steve Anthony from Stella or Stephen Anthony from Stella. Um, because he's very involved in doing the upgrading of the Retron 77 as well. It's give me, it's been giving me fits on how it sizes the card on capacity. Well, we won't be able to be doing any, um, uh, troubleshooting. With Live you. troubleshooting. <laughs> Zero page <laughs> yeah. homebrew. Yes. Send us in all your computer problems and we will solve them on the fly. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and we're going to be playing a bunch of games. Um, Night Guy in Low Res World, Spies in the Night 2, KO Boxing. AVGN, KO Boxing, Lost Cat, Hunchy 2, Isaiah's, Isaiah's We Chase, The Stacks, Deep Stone Catacomb, Wall Jump Ninja, Crazy Balloon, Draconian, Astronomer, Amoeba, uh, Jump as well, and Yay. a bunch of other stuff. So that is really, really cool. Um, so make sure you tune in. Noon, and two days from now. So one hour and two days. Um, there's a Retron being auctioned. Yes, there is. It is, uh, being offered by, uh, actually I should go over the whole list here of everything that is being auctioned because there is a huge list of stuff. Just go through it pretty quickly because we'll be going over it in detail during the show on Friday. Uh, complete in box signed, a copy of Draconian. Complete in box signed copy of Medieval Mayhem with a rare clear shell. Whoa. Uh, complete in box uh, signed copy of Space Rocks with the fridge magnet. A signed poster of Space Rocks. Uh, limited edition cart complete in box signed Stay Frosty 2. Uh, Stella's stocking signed cart number 153. A uh, complete box signed copy of Galaga, which is not even out yet. And I have, it might be even cooler than that. Ooh. Um, but we're not sure if that's Ooh. going to happen. Yeah, we don't want to tease too <laughs> Yeah, much. I don't want to say that it's going to happen, but there's something that I just got word from John Champeau that it might be a one-of-a-kind <sighs> Galaga cart, but we don't know yet. It's very, very uh, possible it will be. 
because I don't think it'll be a, too much of an issue. Uh, yes, the Retron 77, uh, loaded with homebrew, tons of homebrew, uh, along with the manuals to those homebrew as well, donated by Atari Age, That's Al Yeruso. So you'll have all the real manuals with the digital versions of the homebrew. Uh, it also comes with a Stella or a 2600 adapter, a USB cable. So you can I'm, plug. I'm here in. for the USB cable. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm. I'm. <laughs> so you can plug in other controllers into it. Uh, USB that controllers. Is, that, that's actually an amazing deal. Yeah, so that you can plug in modern controllers because a lot of people have USB uh, game pads for their computers. So I have a 360 controller at home that I yeah. use quite often. Oh, those are really good. Because yeah. uh, I mean that, but that was when I started playing games, and I just like the feeling of that controller. And there's some games that are just so much better on controller than my mouse and keyboard. Yeah, and it comes with a controller, uh, Retrobit Genesis Gamepad. Perfect. So there man. you go. That'll be fun. Donated by Nathan Strum, uh, Astronomer, a completed box, limited edition, number forty, the last copy of Astronomer. And Gold Rush, uh, complete box signed, as I said. So um, lots of things are happening on the Friday. The 12 hours will fly by. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to make yeah. sure I get a bunch of food and snacks to bring as well so that oh, yeah. we'll be in good shape. So all of those will be auctioned on eBay for ease because for, a lot of people are already signed up for eBay. It makes it easy to bid. Everybody's, it, It's all done for us, really, pretty much. And uh, we'll be taking the bids through GoFund or the donations through uh, GoFundMe. Uh, that makes it really easy. It's a site that's already set up, and I've already got it already set up, ready to Good go. Work, I just uh, released the the site name, and it's ready to go. Uh, Milton Boo says, "Well, I get paid Friday, so maybe I can score something besides some beep." That's right, <laughs> man. You you all can read it. Yep. That's how Militant Buddhist is going to be up for 12 hours. That's how he rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so, so many things, and I might be bidding on some of those as well, because yeah. some of those are one-of-a-kind one-offs, especially being signed, too. Hell yeah. yeah. I think every one of those is an interesting, like, great thing, especially if you're into oh, homebrews. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you like, don't have it already. Cow. And even if you do have it, these are all signed. Like, yeah. And, and, and two of them... Are not even released, so I guarantee and you don't games. have two of these items and killer games. Yeah, Gold Rush and Galaga. Oh my god, <laughs> it's, it's pretty killer. nuts, man. Yeah, we saw the video on that. So and good work putting together all this stuff, James. Cause, oh, like, thank smart you. having to go to the third party. I like the eBay thing and GoFundMe. It, it makes just, it easy. Also, liability yeah. for us is legit. Like, it's nice. You don't know. There's no money that has to come to no. You know, because I that's that's where these things. It work. keeps it simple. You don't have to send money directly to me. It's handled by a third. party. Party. And, a, and a respectable third party so Somewhat. we know yeah, <laughs> yeah but, as but much we, as it can be really hell yeah eBay, it's well known it's well established it'll yeah. get the job done which yeah is, and there's a track and tracking of it you know which is really really important for this stuff because the last thing we want i mean having transparency is so yes. important it is yeah so we want this all super legit because that's and, all we've and, got really is the trust that like yeah. we're doing this for like good reasons <laughs> yeah and every single cent goes to Stella. Yes. And and furthering that and getting them more equipment to make sure the emulation is perfect um, for better development of games that benefits you in the end so that games are made really well so that they can do the testing on it and making sure A little that ad Stella emulates this hardware perfectly. A little adrenaline shot so hopefully it can, you know, yeah. keep going. Keep going really, really well. So we're going to go on to our first game today, which cool. is Championship Golf. And we uh, don't play many too too many sports games. When, no. When have we ever? We have played we, ever? we played a basketball game once. Oh, that's right. Made by the ex actually the same <laughs> person. <laughs> and my comment was, game. "Why aren't we in space?" <laughs> <laughs> space basketball. Yeah, I was like, "Where we could go to space? Why aren't we in space?" <laughs> Everything's better in space. That's Wasn't right. Wasn't that your saying? That was my saying. Because I was like, you know, we can like go to, you know, we can, we can like dip into the cosmos. Like why are we, but, so... but it's cool to play sports games. And also there was a lot of classic sports games. Oh yeah. yeah. Back in the day. And golf is so interesting. It is. Uh, have you ever played? Um... Yeah, a little bit of golf. golf? When like I was. Actual golf? Totally. Uh... Well, the, oh, wow. when I was um, 14 or 15 years old, um, like my family took me to play 
golf and they took me to the driving range and it was fun. It was good. And then like we oh. went to go play the real game with my friends and it was the worst experience ever uh. because we went to go and it was it was harsh because we were like fifteen. Go for it. Oh yeah, we were like fourteen. And then we were like, obviously not very good at it because we were a little behind. <laughs> and, yes. and I was, I've never seen someone, I've never been so bullied in my life by these uh. old people. And eventually we started just letting people go past us. And at a certain point we're like, let's just go home. <laughs> yeah, there, it's, uh, there is an expectation that you're, of being a certain speed because there's people like right behind you. Exactly. That are much faster than you and better than you at playing golf because... They're probably there that's, a lot more that's than That's what you. they do. And I thought it was harsh, though, because it was, like, these people just, like, glaring at these... Like, you'd think, like, 14-year-old kids, you'd be nicer <laughs> to them, but... They don't care. No. They, we, they we, paid their money. They want to get off there at a certain time. Can we play through? Uh, yes, please. And I was through. so stressed out, because I was, like, a little kid, basically. Oh, I so. bet. So, and then I stopped playing after that. I was like, <laughs> that's it. I'm out. Got... Okay. Okay, so... so uh, this one does require instructions because of how you have to pick things and do things. I can only imagine. This feels... So this is Championship Golf. This is a 2019 work in progress. This is brand new. I just got this yesterday, this build. Wow. Because um, he's working actively on it. This is a 16K game. Uh, done by Edward Smith, uh, a.k.a. E.A. Smith. He started July 3rd, so not too long ago. Only a week he's been he's since he released wow. this. Um, other games he's made, Alien Attack, Alien Revenge, Championship of Golf, Go Kung Fu Combat, and Pickle, which we've played, I believe, all of them on the show. Um, and you can download this at the Atari Age forums. So it says, been working on a golf game. I finally have a proof of concept. Reading instructions below, uh, important for those who want to mess around. Uh, this is a little bit old. Only one hole for now, par four, uh, but I think 18 are easily doable. Long way to go still. Haven't used AK yet. Top portion of the screen is the overhead view. Bottom portion is the first person perspective, which is very cool to have the split screen. Wow. Not many, too many games take advantage of split screen. It's usually just one screen. Um, still much work needs to be done on the ball flight. Still working on getting wind, hook, and slice effects right. No sounds yet either. Also need to have shot affected by sand or trees. Currently hitting from the trees does not affect the shot. Also, for now, once you're on the green, you always make the first putt. That has been changed. So I still have to work out the putting sequence. Uh, the instructions are the blue dot or yellow dot, that one in between the water and the hole on the top. Okay, that's me. Is your target. No, uh -oh. The white one is you. Um, oh, move the target with the joystick. So you can move that around. Oh, whoa. Where you want to... Uh, have it land, so yep. I feel like that's the spot. The bottom left is the club for distance. So move it to the left. Move it. There you go. D. Keep moving it. Keep moving it. Five, seven, nine, iron. Uh, oh. Wedge. Yeah, because it's nice and close, right? So the yep. farther we get. Yeah. So dash is out of range. D is the driver. Five is the five iron. Seven, seven iron. Nine, nine iron. W for wedge. Wind does not affect wedge shots because they're too so short like, anyway. So, like, this is the driver. Pilot. So, like, this is the farthest I could hit, theoretically. Yep. Um, yes, and if you go further, it says, no, you can't hit it that and far. And obviously, like, we don't want to go into the water. Don't want to go into the, the trees. The trees. So, 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 you take the risk of just barely making it past, past there. Actually, you can go pretty far. It feels to me like... Like, it's, like it's kind of unsafe. Feels to me here might be, like, the best bet. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do this. But you might get near the water. Okay, press fire to start. Don't do anything yet, because okay. there's a lot to this. Oh, shit. Don't just pr press some things. I'm getting flashbacks to being 14. <laughs> press fire to set the target. After the target is in the desired position. You got that. The, sh the shot will attempt to hit the target, but is affected by wind. The bottom right. Right now it's zero to the west. Or the east. Uh, is that east? Or that looks like a... Well, it's pointing that way, which is... Oh, it's an arrow. Cool. East. That makes way more sense. That'd be west. That'd be north. That'd be south. It might might be all eight directions. I don't think he's implemented wind yet. Okay. Uh, Milton Buddha says, wow, some serious thought went into this. Yes, I think there's going to be a lot to this. And and seeing a golf game with a first-person perspective, and you'll see that changes. It has water. It has the, has the hole in the proper spots too it's amazing this is reminding me a little bit of the worm games that we were playing remember those tank ones that was those two player that was really fun oh yeah yeah that like was overhead yeah. yeah but you have to aim and shoot like you know what i mean like in terms yes. of gameplay yeah 
I might be into this actually. I was so skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this I, I actually like golf video games. Wow. They're really cool. I used to play them on the Commodore 64. Shit, I didn't know to that. To swing, pull down on the joystick to start the backswing. This will activate the shot strength meter. You want to achieve the maximum strength on the meter always. This is to target this is to get it to the target you have set. Okay. So you want the maximum. If you do less than that, you'll maybe get in the water or Makes sense. a little bit before. Uh, when the strength ne meter is near max, push up, push up on the joystick to begin the downswing. Uh, you want to do this when the strength meter is exactly on max or just below. Okay. Regardless of the distance of your shot, use max shot strength since the max shot strength is equated to the target you set. Well, yeah, I guess it's the, it's the yeah. maximum to get to where you want to go. That's right. Uh, push the button to finish the swing when the meter is exactly at zero. So it's down to start the swing, up when it's at the and maximum, then hit it when and then the button when it's at the minimum. Okay. So too early, you slice it, which I think is to the left. Too late, you go to the right. Okay. So you want it exactly when it hits zero. Um, so the swing mechanic is down, up, button, but after setting the target. Which cool. you set the target with the button. I haven't yet, though. No. So, so I set it down to this max, forward, and then hit. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is putting, but we won't do that yet till we get on the green, oh which my is God. actually white. Okay, let's do <laughs> to it. To differentiate it so from the green. We're going to lock this. Lock in. it in. So now it's down to start swinging, up when it's at maximum, and button when it's at minimum. Okay, we're going to try the first down, one. Down, up, Oh, button. shit. <laughs> so you totally... Okay. It just happens so fast, man. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So now you can probably aim for the hole. Okay. Which is, it's Let's underneath. Lock that in. Okay. Okay, down, up, up, button. That was better. Better. Yeah. Well, there is some wind. I don't know if he's implemented it yet. But let's get on the green. Okay. And it's automatically selected the Select. wedge because it's not too far. There you go. Okay. To putt, the same mechanic as the swing. If the distance... Oh, shit. <laughs> I haven't finished reading it. I didn't it. mean to. I just hit a button because I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's funny. If okay. The, if the distance to the pin is over three feet, then you press the button late or early. It can push or pull the, butt, the putt to the left or right. Putt is a little harder to uh, than you think you need to. Think of a max swing strength about 10 feet. Uh, if the distance is more than 10 feet, use the maximum putt strength. Okay. So the putting is a little different. Okay. As so it should be. It's you don't two aim different games. the putt, I don't think. Move around the joystick? No. It's just you are automatically locked into, locked the, into yeah. the putt. That's the problem is I wanted to move my thing around. But oh, because you I, press down. And then it already like locks me in. Because like I didn't because last time you were able to sort of aim it. Yeah. And that was my issue where I was Cause, like. Because there really isn't any point in aiming your putt. No, it's it's a different game. Oh, because there is no slopes on this. Yeah. It's, everything's flat. Which makes sense. I mean, yeah, imagine Atari 2600 game with, with slopes, slopes. It's possible it could turn the whole top into the green. That's right. And have little arrows or colors saying this slopes this way, this slopes this way. It depends how meta you want to get. So complicated. Okay. okay. So I think it's this. He says it's the same. So it should be down, up, press the button. Oh, shit. So you did it. You got it in. Did I? Yeah. Holy. I think because you're so close to it. It's pretty even hard. Even a hard to... swing. Because uh, I didn't done... hit the button, though. So that would have sliced it left or right. So it wouldn't matter. You're too close to the... Yeah. The... Okay, so... So you could get a hole in one, it looks like, in this one. Okay, that's great news, man. Okay, I'm gonna so try it out. Uh, this was edited... This edit that I have here. Should I try it out and see? Yeah, you can go ahead and... and uh... Excellent. Very good swing. Look how close you are. Six, hey, okay, six, let's see if I can like... Six feet from the hole. You could probably get a two. Oh, shit. Nope. Now, I got you that. went to maximum there. Yeah. I'm not supposed to? No. For a putt, you're supposed to like... Ten feet is maximum. And you were like one foot... Oh, shit, so okay. So you went, like, maximum putt. You're like, smack! I hit it like a man. That's yeah. What you're <laughs> super hard. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Okay, I think so this, uh, 
Update. Oh, that's cool, man. He says, he now, on Monday, he posted this, now I have a nine-course hole for people to play with. Eventually, it will be 18 holes. There's still a few bugs, but it's getting closer. Again, you need to practice to get a feel for the controls. New additions for this version. Nine holes. A sand or a tree will negatively impact your shot. So sand will be a problem. You're getting it. Sort of. I mean, that was better than... You're a little off on... It's better than nothing. Yeah. little late on that oh you did really well so see you're seven feet okay so you so want he... seven tenths of that oh bar i see to do a perfect or maybe a little bit more oh way too hard i think you went past it fuck now you're right on it no oh, yay <laughs> that only took 12 <laughs> times um sand lie is now indicated in the first person graphic as is tree lie. I don't know what's going on there. Fuck. Damn it. At the start of each hole, the top numbers are left is your net score, your five over, which is no good. Um, oh, red is under, five is black is over or even. I'm good at the first one. Mm, I didn't quite make it. Well, that was good. That was good. On the right is the current hole, so you're on hole five. During the hole, the top numbers. During the hole, oh, yeah, I'm, supposed I'm to guessing on the green. Okay, stop for a second. Left is your current score on the hole, so you're four. Right is the par, so this is a par five, so you're one under right now. So you could get par if you get this in. Um, after the hole, the top numbers on net score, total score. Okay. Did it? You got par. Finally, yes. man. This one's six. I'm understanding <laughs> this game. A Welcome, bit Impaler. Welcome to the show. We're just Believe playing it or not, some we're golf. playing golf, Impaler. And if you watch as you move. Uh, oh, you're not. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I was going to show them something. Okay, move around. You can see your aiming little thing on the bottom is oh, moving, too. Oh, it's so cool, man. Yep. Your actual view is always of. I just fucked it up. Oh, uh, you got closer. Got closer. Okay. So it's par four, you're three again. Oh. So you got one over. Really, really good um, courses. Really well made, man. Like, look at the, the water there. It's got like a river and a big uh, lake there. Oh, shit, man. That was a good one. Yeah. This is, like, surprisingly satisfying. Nice. If you get it in, you'll be uh, you'll be up one. Oh. I'm not oh, very good at that. No. I'm just not very good at that some, yet. Oh, lots of sand. Finally, we get some sand. I'm going to try to do it, man. I'm going to try to do it. Yeah, this is a really good golf game. Come on. In the sand. Where is it? I wanna. I, the only issue. I s uh oh. Oh, you got out of it. You're on the green. Uh oh. Oh. One over. Two over par. Shit, man. Damn. Hold on. Maybe I can bring this back home. Come on. Oh. See, I'm better at the. Nice. I'm just not very good at this. Like. Oh. Uh, I'm just not. Par. I'm just not good at putting. I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, that's not it. Like, oh, did I get it? Perfectly. Almost perfectly. Almost great. Okay, cool. Oh, that was good. You can still. Oh, why is it not working? Hitting it too hard, maybe. I'm actually too soft. It too almost. Soft? Every time I go a bit harder, it actually tends to. I tend to score you more. You got often. par on that. So it's better than nothing. Okay, let's check this out. So, yeah, on the top, he's using a uh, reflective play field, which looks really good. Like, you can't even really notice it too much that it's reflected. Um, and then using uh, the player graphics for the, the water and the hole. And he's probably using the... Uh-oh. That sucks. Now you're in the trees. Or almost in the trees. Nice. Oh, you're six. 
You got six on a par four. Did I? <laughs> now you're ten over. <laughs> so that's, that means that's rip. That's, that's yeah. death. Yeah, it's not not great. You're not in the professional leagues. Hey, man, we can't, that... we can't all be Tiger Woods. <laughs> now, 52. What is that 52 up there? I think that's my points. Oh, total points. Yes, yes. Total score. Stroke count. Uh, net score is 10. 10 over. Rough. Okay. Do you want to try? Yes. I'm going to reset it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Okay. So we can get pretty far. What the hell? It's Did not I easy. I press it perfectly? It's tricky, man. It's a weird, it's a weird one. What? Am I doing it too late because it sh it curved to the right hmm there okay so I have to do it I have to press the button quicker it's I'm I'm curving it too much so this is only four away I see harder than you expect I've found because yeah. that was short I think I have to hit it you got it harder than I... you should than you what is what did I thought ah. I got on there anyway. I think I must have pressed the button. Oh, you nailed it. You're at 12, so like pretty hard, Ooh, right? Yeah, maximum. Totally. So I don't even have to press up. Like, no. Five away? Oh, maybe you press the button as it goes up. I'm going to see that. I'm going to see if that yeah, works. Yeah, because the putting feels different. The putting feels very different. I love the wa watching the ball get close to the screen as it arcs. It's just so badass. Yeah, it, the, it's really cool as the ball, you can see, kind of go up and then down. The ball gets a little bit bigger. It's a very nice mechanic. It's a satisfying game. Yeah. So I'm just I'm going to go. How far can we get? Ooh, dangerous. Maybe up there? It's not a bad idea. Yeah, to avoid the water. you got to hit hard, though. Yeah, if you, if you get short, can. then... Maybe I'll go down a little, a little bit. Maybe there. If I let it go to the top, doesn't it just you go maximum? Or no, I, I think you have to hit, to hit it down right at the top. Yeah, there you go. Nailed it. <sighs> Almost. So that's perfect. that's a good. I that gives you a sense of like, because yeah, it's you got to get the d d two timings right, I believe. Yeah, it's too bad he can't put the ball or missile on top of the green. Yeah, it sort of hides underneath, which is yeah. Which is I don't kind know. Of... If, I don't know if he can do that. That's the problem. Look, like we the have priority. the we've got the devil. Is is <laughs> this shot, man? Look, yeah, it's like an upside down cross. <laughs> <laughs> the wind is going south. Oh, I don't think we've been taking that into account. Uh, I think I'm going to now. Where's my Where's my thing? Oh, that's the top of the screen right there, so yeah. I can't really see it. So I'm going to have to aim as much as I can up there. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I just watched a horror movie this week, Annabelle Comes Home. I've heard that's really good. It's quite fun. Or, oh. no, not Annabelle Comes Home. Anna... Yeah, is it? That's I... the one I've heard that's good? I don't know. It was. It's part of the Conjuring series. Have you seen any of the Conjuring movies? No. A little there, interesting. <laughs> I'm not a huge horror fan, like some people are. It no, but like, oh, um, what the hell? That's okay. There's a problem. Okay, we found a bug. Um, because when I'm putting, you press the button to putt, it is carrying that button press over to the next um hole. As if I press the button already, when you haven't, you're still yeah. lining up your shots. So, EA Smith you need to put a little delay in if you just need to put a delay in <laughs> yeah so that the button doesn't carry over to the next uh, the next uh, shot and it's especially sensitive on putting um because it switches over so quick to the next shot uh and it doesn't like because the ball doesn't go in the air and gives time putt just goes right in so this is where am i oh it shot it that's why i'm so yeah. close to it 
But man, it feels like the only independent movies that come out these days are horror movies, you yes. know? I yeah. love watching horror movies just because they feel so small. It's like, this one was all set in like one house, pretty much. There was like some setup in Act 1, but like it was mostly this house. Yeah. It's just, and it is cool to see in the lighting and everything, like... It's just like, cause I lo- I miss independent films. I used to that was my favorite mm. thing. Like when you when there'd be like a like a little like three million dollar movie that would come out that was clearly just a director's movie, but they don't release those anymore, really. No, unless it's... they're genre pieces like that. Yeah, horror is one of those um, genres that can be done cheaper, and people will show up too. That's why and, they know that audiences will go to the theater for them. It's a uh... It's also a genre that there's an audience like there's there is a horror audience yeah for man there's to the there's, core i mean there's sci-fi audiences but they're there's, not I the same as horror. drama audiences no there isn't horror horror people are i guess are, there's sports audiences there's for sure people who will go see like a like a like a new rocky movie you know that's true but oh. that's almost but it's more for franchises like it's less there's not that many genre like things it's got nine wind i'm gonna go for it Ooh, playing with fire, James. I am. Just go for it. Oh no, no. What? What? Well, the wind was that way nine, and I must have pressed it. Well, you also, I think timing. you, well, you hit the button too. You could see there's like a chunk of it. Yeah. Still. Hit it too early. Now the wind's the opposite. Yeah, a splendid that says maybe a little celebration tune after the ball makes it into the hole. Yeah, because I because yes. it's hard to know. That like would I be can't, good. I can't tell if it's like a. But he did add sound in it just recently, so. Yeah. Yay. But man, it's sad because I mean there were so, there's so many old good horror movies like oh, those yes. directors like Wes Craven movies or like Carpenter, Carpenter movies, you know, and that's something I definitely miss is is the, is these crazy directors who do these really interesting movies, because um, we just don't see that as much anymore. Is too bad. No, you know, you know, there's not as. I did see Get Out. Oh, Get Out is so good. That's a really good film. I used to work on a golf course. Did you? Yes. I didn't know that. (laughs) Yeah. How's your golf game? I don't play golf. What was it like working at the golf? Which <laughs> job did you have? Were you the guy who had to like drive out in the car and pick up the golf clubs? I always feel sorry for that guy no, in the driving range. But I did drive around and. I refilled the water at all the all the little places where they could have their water. Yeah. And I reseeded the the where they they uh, tee off. Yeah. The, tee, the tees. Um, what's going on? Oh, damn it! Putting's the hardest part of this game, man. It is. What is happening? Oh my god! god. I find that you have to do a lot of power. More power than you need. Oh on, yeah, for on the for, putting, which is really wild. Uh, switch to seven twenty. Oh, he's just saying his hotel Wi Fi, oh, which okay. we can't help about. I wish I could, man. I wish <laughs> I could go in, and I. That's the hardest part about like uh, traveling is is you just kind of have to deal with what you got. That's right. Which is really come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. Yes. Okay. Six. I got to go pretty high. Got it. Nailed it. In two. I'm one over though still. I'm not, that's not bad. No, it's better than me. <laughs> but I've, I've watched you play. Um, my understanding of golf courses too is there's a lot of wasted water. Oh my god! Like the like to, to, well the whole thing is make, a waste of water. It's to, just grass. It's a bunch of grass that grass soaks up water. And it's a ridiculous amount of water they have to give and and cure, especially on what is it the green which you actually put on. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just an incredible amount of stuff and. Got it. It's one. got up one. That's good. Because it is one of those sports. I wonder, like, if if we eliminated all golf courses, like, would oh. how would that affect our like water supply levels? Like, well, it's hard to know. I mean, I'm definitely sure definitely in places like Las Vegas and California. California it's like there would be. Dude, I was supposed to just drop some stuff. It's, he says, Annabelle is a real doll at the Warren's house under glass that gets blessed by a priest weekly. Oh, yeah, yes. man, that's what they said in the movie. <laughs> I thought it was cool. I like, And it's cool that the Warrens are like a real family yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's a real and, thing. Well, Conjuring, Conjuring 2, it, both of them are really... I, I do recommend it if you guys you know want to go see a fun little horror movie. 
it's it's definitely well done like i had yeah. no i had no complaints and i've seen a lot of horror movies uh, granted it's not something that you're gonna like you know be thinking about on your deathbed <laughs> like it's not gonna change your life but it's a really fun time at the theater which is that's all you can ask for sometimes eh? yeah i mean some films you go to and they're fine for turning off your brain and um this one's far and horror movies are good for that comparatively to like i don't know i'd rather see like a, like, a, like a dirty little independent horror movie than like a michael bay film or something it's oh just, my god yes it's, it's so much cooler Ten times over you're in a yeah they could for sure use more horror games than 2600 i love horror games oh, horror games is one of my favorite genres actually have you played any horror games james no, I don't, because they usually involve a lot of dark areas, and you can't see where you're going. <laughs> That's true. And it's like, forget that. What is the point of this? Um, the the story of, it tends to be really, really good because yes. they have to be. Yeah. Um, and the and the way we play with playing with light, there's um uh, uh there was there's my there's a one on Steam called What's Amnesia happened? Dark Descent. Oh, oh, it's the end. Yeah. Oh okay. Oh, did you? That's oh, it means you won, and it's the and you get like a, yeah, it's the total score, I guess. Well, how did I get fifty two? I mean, also oh, less Extra is strokes. better. Oh, on golf, yes. Yeah. The lower the score, the better on golf. So you got fifty two, I got forty two. You had ten over par, and I got par. Cool. Which is this is amazing. This is a great. That's game. a great. That's a really good thing. Yeah. The only thing I would suggest is the button thing mm -hmm. for when you're on the green. And it's just too sensitive. It picks up for the next hole, and it already locks in your your uh, your uh, swing. And uh, yeah, maybe Dude. a little tune for getting it in, or do do or something. I give different. this game a thumbs up, and oh, that's yeah. insane because this game <laughs> had so much going against it. Just personally for me, not because of, but I like number one. I'm not a big fan of golf uh -huh. because of my 14 year old experiences. Number two, we're not in space. And, and, <laughs> ah, and, no and, space. And, and number three, it's a hard sell. It's like, it do you want to play a sell. golf game? Uh, oh, yeah. Or do you want to play Galaga? Fuck yeah, I'm playing Galaga, <laughs> yes. right? So that's the thing. And but I would give this a thumbs up for sure. This is a really fun little game. Like, yep. especially too like playing opposite each other is neat because yep. like to see you got a better score yep. and there's some stuff to perfect with it. And... Another thing I would definitely recommend adding is multiple players. Yes. Um, it's not much to do. Like you just have a couple extra variables. You can remembering have red shirt and and, and, yeah, and blue shirt, shirt colors. And um you just have to remember what color shirt you are yeah and that's it you go oh i'm orange that's it and or change you, the hat that would be hilarious it's just an x and y coordinate right and a couple and a score yeah of where you are where you are on the course and whoever is the furthest because it knows how far you away you are from the hole um whoever's the furthest gets to go or however it works in golf i don't know how it works in golf you only have like 10 levels i mean you could give us more levels this is awesome he's going for go He's got nine. He's going to go for um, 16. Makes uh, sense. A full round of golf. Makes total sense. I think this is going to be a, a oh, winner. A total thumbs up for me, and the yep. gameplay is fun, and I like that it's tactical. That was actually... Because, again, I was like, this is not probably going to be for me. Yeah. But then it reminds me a lot of the, the shooter games, the ones we play, yes. like where you have to aim like your tank's missiles if and try to hit. If you just change and... this into a tank... <laughs> That's all it is. It's and this... you move the tank slowly, and it's a, it's a turn-based... You know, tank game. And you happen to be on the moon in space. That's just... right. <laughs> um, and if you get, like, you know, clean up the, the graphics of the guy down there. Yeah. Make it a little bit more detailed, because I think you could. He's got enough room there. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it's not, um, The guy's totally fine. It's not essential. It's it's It works nicely. And, like, it's very clear what the indication is. And yeah. it's a good thing you read out the uh, instructions. controls. Yeah, it's the controls important. are... Yeah. Um, and the putting, I, I don't know what's going on with the putting and the controls for the putting. Uh, what I found is you have to really over putt, like hit it harder than, than the instructions. Yeah. Imply. The putting is the, is, but again, that's like the, 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 the fun part about something like this yeah. is learning through like the tactile, keen aesthetic, like experience to yeah. go, Oh, this is what we have to do. And neither of us got it in the water. So no. we didn't experience the water cause it'd probably be hard to even aim for that. Yeah, let's let's try to hit this water. Let's, yeah. let's, let's And obviously you need a splash. Let's, yeah, let's see what happens if we do. Try and do it perfectly exactly. Actually, we can just keep on trying for the water. Oops. 
I have to do full. Yeah, that's right. That's the that's an, the interesting part of it. Okay, there we go. It went in the water and then pushed me way back that's there. That's smart. Puts you in the middle of the woods, man. Yeah. So it made a kind of a noise. Yeah. I would extend that noise going... One of my... Um, and it trails off the sound into quieter. Like, it's just a, um, a noise noise sound. It's just... And it's got that built in, so... Yeah, and just they're right about, sound. like, when you land on the, like, on the green, having a little, like, sound would be awesome. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, did we, did did we, we get, get there? It? How did that work? And I don't know if it's possible, but I would definitely ask in the forums how to fix... Letting Get your it, dot be on the thing. Yeah. yeah, over top of the green. Because I'm sure there's a priority setting that you could set. I'm not sure if this is the ball or missile that's being used. Um, but if you are, if you're able to change the priority around so that it is over top, because that's the only thing that overlaps on this whole thing. So if there's a, just a priority setting so you can see it over top, and that would fix this a lot but yeah that would be nice just to be able to sort of oh because it's it. under everything too oh which yeah, makes yeah. sense it's it should cool be. To, it's it's cool to be underneath like the trees if that's yeah. what we're doing but I, i'd like it over top of everything so there i'm sure there is a, a priority setting um the water doesn't show up on the bottom screen um i can forgive that but that would be very cool if he oh it won't right now i'd have to be over here Yeah, so it doesn't show up yet. Yeah, that would have been excellent detail. Oh, yeah, it doesn't show up. Uh, the trees show up, and I believe the green shows up too. Let's see. No, the green doesn't show up. I don't know how detailed the bottom screen is in terms of accuracy of what's going on. Oh, it does. Yeah, there it shows go. that. So. so that's one thing he can add in, is if you are X distance away from the water... Um, Let's try and go back to the water again. Yeah. It'd be nice it to see the water like there. as part of the thing. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Definitely, because that would just add another layer of realism to it. And it's got the trees. Let's go over here to the trees. Let's see if it changes. It doesn't change the trees. No, it's just it's like... It's just general trees are there. Swap sprites when targeting. Yes. Swap sprites when targeting. Not sure what that means he's implying there maybe he's talking about the uh i think to try to like get, get the, the over top yeah. yeah yeah but uh yeah that's my Slow, only criticism man. everything else is really good the when um <laughs> ironically i like the golf game better than a lot of games i should like <laughs> more than the golf game it's so yeah, crazy it's really good and i was you guys were fighting an uphill battle with me man i was i was you were walking in already with negative points um <laughs> which is not your fault that's yes. my fault <laughs> that's my own bias right and it, but everyone has tastes right like things that they like like um like I would say, like, what are your favorite genres, James? If you had to like pick, like, what what are your favorite kinds? Shooters of... and platformers makes that sense. Is definitely, maybe because I'm better at them than other things, or at least I like playing them. That's for sure, uh, more than other games. Um, and certain, and yeah, like, um, certain like, certain RPGs, certain kind like. of shooters. Hey, you're not a first person th shooter person. It's more of a uh, like. I do like those sometimes. It depends on the game. Like uh, like Elder Scrolls. Yeah, but that's more RPG. Shooter. Than, <laughs> that's not really a... No. Like, have you played any Call of Duty games? No, I do not like those. They that, all seem the same to me. That makes sense. Like, that exactly the same. You're a guy, you have a gun, you have to shoot the other guy. Yeah. Like, that's the end They're of the story. They're all about the multiplayer. It really, is. those games are like... That's where they... Single player, eh. Yeah. Yeah, I... I I actually play probably third person. That makes sense. Shooters more than that, like the Far Cry series. Oh I yeah, play, I play that. But that's that's first person Far Cry. No, at least you can switch to first person. But I think I played in third. Can you? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you played in third. Maybe not. If that's first, then that's fine. I'm pretty uh, sure. I knew it. I don't know. It's okay, all, it's all good. So we're gonna move on to Egg Venture. Um, for some. Well, this is from 2011. Oh, yeah, we got to do a little switcheroo, too. We do. This doesn't work on cartridge, on the Harmony cart, unfortunately. It is a 32K DP, uh, DPC Plus game, and for some reason it doesn't work on there. Um, the guy is gone. 
He hasn't been logged on oh, to buddy. Atari Age in a long time. Um, Maybe we can get him back. <laughs> that's right, to fix it up. And No, it's a pretty cool game. Or even just to join the, you know, join the club and have some fun. That's right. So, I'm going to start it on Stella, which we're doing the Stellathon for. So it all connects. Looks like the trees are play field. And the sand pit and green are player one, player one, zero, M, zero, M1, and ball. Um, Thanks, Azura, for going in and like giving us real answers. Oh, God, to... Yes. Ooh, okay. This is going to be... So I'm just going to have to do some things. There we go. A little small, Wow, well, look I'll at those that. FPSs just rolling. <laughs> okay. Now we've Excuse got me. a controller here. USB. Oh, cool. Controller. Press the button. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's cool. It's like a yep. little... little I've S never S used SNES. this one before. That's sweet. Okay. Oh, don't. Okay. Whoa. So, I think it's these ones that actually do it. You see, it's like second. it's Y and X. Yeah, okay. So it's X. And... Left okay, right. good. We're good. Um, but don't play it yet. Okay. Just going to... Holy shit. Bird person. Okay, don't start. Because I'm going to make it look good. Oh, Dan ABC says he can't see the game. No, we're not playing yet. Still okay. getting it uh, getting it going. Buffalo controller. It's called Retro Link. Um, so maybe. I'm sorry. I don't know the details <laughs> about those things. James will be able to. Uh, it's an SN SNES style controller made by Retro Link. Yeah. Um, gray with purple buttons. Should be able to find that. Yeah. Not too hard. Let me oh. show you the, the goods. Uh, okay. Where is this? Just hold with us for just a second. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big horror fan for, for games. I played a lot of horror. Like I played all the Silent Hill games, all the Resident Evil games. I did one called um, Amnesia is my favorite stuff. Like There's a Steam game online. The coolest thing about Amnesia is you... There, you have no weapons, so you're forced to like hide in lanterns and solve things with puzzles and stuff. It's very intense and very creepy. It's probably one of the scariest games. I think Amnesia might be where I could be wrong, but I think that's where PewDiePie started because he had his big yes, reaction to so. to a game. Yeah, Amnesia gave me insane anxiety. I actually had to stop playing it after an hour because I was <laughs> like, I was so buzzed from it. And um, and my one of my favorite games growing up was called Call of Cthulhu: Dark Corners of the Earth, which to this day is one of the best games I've ever played, and one of the worst because it's like <laughs> controls are terrible, it's buggy as hell, but the mood is so good. It's like an adaptation of an H.P. Lovecraft short story, um, which is like uh, horror of Innsmouth, I think. I could be wrong, but it's it's to do with the reptiles, and so you're like a detective that's been sent to this like remote island. And so the first level, you have no weapons. You just wander around and try to, like... And they set the whole story up. And then at a certain point, all hell breaks loose. And you have no weapons. And you just have to, like, hide from villagers who are trying to murder you. <laughs> and, like, it's late. Like, it's probably two hours into the game they give you a gun. But you only have, like, oh, four geez. or five bullets in it. So you have to be very... Oh, and, like, everything you see it is driving you insane. Because it's oh, a horror game. Yeah, so, like, cool. you'll see stuff. And so by the end of the game... If you explore the game too much and see too much horror, when you get to the end game, your character will just die from going insane. And you oh, actually have to wow. go back and replay the whole game to dodge horrific things to prepare yourself for, like, you know, because there's just some horror you can't avoid. So, and that's one thing that I've, I've always loved about the Cthulhu style games is they have that, like, um, ang the, the, the sanity meter. That's oh, something yes. I've never, I've always wanted to see people do more with that. Like the idea that you are you can only handle so much horror before you go nuts. <laughs> yes, it's very cool uh, mechanic. Yeah, okay. it's like ingrained into the thing and so... I think we're good oh, Okay, egg, egg Venture, so yeah. But it's not a, you can't really do it. I had to play it on Xbox because I tried to get it on Steam and it won't even launch. Oh, Which weird. is so depressing. Okay, so let's, let's try press in. X. We are good to go. I love the design of this guy, man. Sorry. This is nuts. Touch, oh, it's all good. If I touch things here, I just have to... Okay, so we have a timer, it appears. Turn so do I steal... Oh, God, I got it. Okay, that's okay. Sorry. Hey, no worries, man. Um, Clap again. 
Oh, a little bit too loud. Slap again. Oh, try again. I'm gonna turn it down just a touch more. Okay, cool. Okay, we're good. Whoa. So Let's do I? I, I collect, now. I collect the egg. Is this the idea? Yeah, egg collector. And then I bring it back to the nest. Yes. Do 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 do. Okay, this is first posted on May twenty sixth, two thousand eleven. Uh, this build is, is, is from 2011. I just wait, hold on. Um, there are no instructions. Okay. He uh, sadly, the instructions and downloads from the Atari Age forums were deleted from his initial post and replaced with "This game is currently on hiatus until I return." No. Other projects in life have taken over my 2600 times. So I this get guy it. Is, this guy's gone. Okay, so this what 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 worked for the first one doesn't really work for this one. Okay, so check this out. I'm not sure if this is the latest version or the newest version or f um, or how to play the game. So okay, it's up Do to I... us to. Uh... What happens? Do I? Whoa! I'm assuming that like I have to go through this. Ah! Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> okay, so oh, so that means it's done, and I have to go collect like the other one. Whoa! I have played this a little bit. You do need that flower. I do need that flower. Okay. It protects you a little bit. From... Holy shit! From... And don't bump into walls. Okay. It's a little bit like Joust, where you're third person, where you're flying around. Luckily, the, your home here is somewhat safe, except for the top corner. So don't bump into that. Don't bump into that. Oh god! Don't bump into that. Death. Uh Is there a flying squirrel in the game on the twenty six hundred already? I don't know what this guy is. He's a bird person. The game is That's called so Egg Venture, but he's kind of a he's kinda of got legs. Like a humanoid body. Yeah, it's Doesn't bird, really it's bird look, person. Yeah, don't bump into that. Oh it's, god. It's very deathy. Rip. So much rip. Okay. <laughs> oh, and it's got that duck duck from adventure there. He steals your egg. So there's a counter on the bottom. Okay, so see like oh, that's wild. Oh right? your score goes down. So I got this. And that's your health on the bottom left and right. It has a seven on the top left at Whoa. your home. You're, oh, see. Don't hit the stuff. Well, it's, 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 it's not so easy to aim in this fucker. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it, though. I'll, I got this. And when I die, it still, like, fucks up my score, too. And it's got lives on right beside your score, so you have three lives left. Oh, God. And you lost your protection. Oh, and you bumped it. And I got jammed into the wall. <laughs> okay, this is unforgiving. So, uh, he did post in September 7th, 2011. Yeah, I'm still working hard on it. I've been reworking the collision mechanics, and I think I've found something that works well enough. But the real holdup is that I want to get Adventure and Pitfall what? done before the next release. No. I don't know. Oh, did sure you what see that... that? It just wailed on me. Okay. I have to somehow get this guy and not... Oh, fuck. I thought that that would be safe. There's nothing safe in this world anymore, James. <laughs> no, it's all danger. Not even the green ground. I'm trying to squeeze them in best I can. Not sure when the next release will happen, but I'll let everyone know when it's, it's finished. Thanks for the interest. As far as the crashing goes, the game is beta, and RC3 has quite a few bugs in it. I've squished most of them, but I'm sure more will pop up. Thanks for helping me to test. So I'm not sure if this is release candidate 3. Oh God. See, it's hard because like once I get off track... I don't know how to not, because it's like a pool. Try it out, because it's like playing pool. Like, when you get knocked, it knocks you with so much, like, inertia. Flappy Bird versus Vanguard. Vanguard? What's Vanguard? Vanguard you can shoot. There's no shooting in this. Uh... We're just stealing people's, like, unborn fetuses. I think those are our eggs. There are eggs. Yeah, the flapping is not super consistent. So like, but it's not bad. See, so just you wait. Oh god. Just wait until you get lost knocked. My, it's uh, very hard to lost deal my with hat. it. So this guy's gonna rush you. I hope not. So. I don't have my protector anymore. I believe. You gotta have I that have protector. I have to have that, and I have to make it all the way there with it, which Ooh. is not—it's not impossible. Too bad. I'm it's pretty like sure that little, seven is how many eggs you have. It's like, left a, it's to like get. a little helmet, you know. Yeah. A little bird person. 
He definitely is a bird person. Wrecked. I think I gotta be lower, because he's attacking me and not that flower. And the flower... Yeah, you kind of need to almost, like, be fly up lower. into him. Yeah. Controls are subtle. Oof. What? I have done that before when I was testing this game. It's a, yeah, it takes some minutia, this game. It's definitely its own thing. I'm gonna try this time as retreating after that guy comes out. Oh god, I lost it. He's still there. Whoa! How do I get this without making you... him crazy? Like, how he attacks you if you have the flower, like, right away. And then now he's going to wreck you, too, if you steal it. <laughs> I got him once, man. I did don't know you? how I did it, though. It was definitely luck. But I did get him. You did have this with you? Yeah, I had that, and yeah. I just hit him with it. You're definitely better at, like, aiming this guy. Like, I, I it find it... A bit. I find it hard it's because... Subtle control. And also, once you're off course, it's very hard to, like, remain on course. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's see how this... Eight. Goes. Yeah, it does go down because you get the first one, and then it goes to seven. So that's how many eggs you have... I got a theory, get. man. I'm just curious if I can know. Is there anything over to the right? Oh, I've never gone that way. Because uh, I think I'll get my flower first, because, you know. Okay, no. no. So so we got it. It's dude. a one way path. Okay. Yeah. God, okay, I'm not so good at these controls, see? <laughs> like, fuck. You're either on or off. It's very subtle. Yeah. Death. <laughs> Bird person. Is it is very good, Dan. Um, well, the map looked like Vanguard. Yes, okay, the map, yeah. With oh, the colors. Fuck. See, like, I don't know how to... Do, you see what I mean? Once you're off, it's like... It's, okay. It's very just... I'm gonna I'm a take my time. It's just like one button press at a time. Very slow. Not two, not three, just... There you go. Now you're maintaining. There you go. You yeah. got it now. No, see, but then now that I'm off, like, what do you do? It's yeah, just... you were pressing too much. You're going, bah, 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 and it went. It's like almost like a delay, and you have to avoid them left or right, not pressing the button. Going upward is not going to help you avoid things that are falling down. Only timing. There you go. Nice. You did it. Okay, you were falling. See, I'm still not very good at it. Damn it, you got <laughs> Look, it. Look, and I have no thing anymore. <laughs> you got it. But I think I killed him, so it doesn't You did. Uh, I, I, well, we'll see. I think he's still there, though. We'll find out. He seems to reset when you... If, uh, if I can get there. But I did kill him with my thing. Did the flower? Is the flower gone? Yeah, but I think he's... No. Oh, no. Dude. How are you supposed to get him without the flower? Fuck. I can't even get into the wall, let alone, like, get this guy. <laughs> Rip. Okay. <laughs> it does look good. It's just hard <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> hard, hard, hard. I mean, his last message, he said he was going to work on the collision control. I would definitely work on the flying, too. Come on. This is certainly one of those games that like appears you... easier than it is yes like this is in in that category of zero page homebrew games where it looks like we suck <laughs> but you're fighting the controls. but it's actually very challenging and like it's not exactly the game's fault or our fault it's just in that category of controls are so you had to yeah i kind of don't die don't die i kind of damn it i like swooped down that yes. was that was my technique but, but now i don't have the flower so i don't know what we're gonna do Going too crazy. Oh, stop it. 
I heard there was a behind the scenes of Jackass. I don't like Jackass very much, but I think about this all the time for some reason. They were <laughs> yes. doing one of the things, and they, I can't remember what it was. It was like a rake or something. And, okay. he, and then I remember Johnny Knoxville said, he's like, this is the worst kind of stunt for Jackass, where it doesn't look that painful, and it's extremely painful. Oh, yeah. And they said, like, the best gags are ones that look painful and aren't and painful. So I feel the same way about Zero Page Homebrew games, that, like, the coolest games are ones which, like, look really hard, but you know they're not actually you know but then the worst games are ones where they look easy but they're actually really hard so then we just look like idiots because we can't yes. we can't fly a bird person yeah it looks really easy yeah it looks like we should be able to just like knock this out like I'm like i have to go through that like immediately <sighs> but like it's not but it's not then that's always i think about the same same thing i think about johnny knoxville because it is <laughs> stepping on a rake well yeah because it is like it's we're in this weird category at zero page homebrew where we're playing games that are meant to be like watched so it's like a it's a weird thing because what's sometimes fun to play might not be fun to watch or what's fun <laughs> to watch might not be the funnest to play so it's so interesting i find and i think about that a lot actually with yeah. the show where it's like what is like because there's games sometimes which we play, and I, can, I think we're having an amazing time. And I'm like, oh, wait, this might just be, like... Super boring to look yeah. at. Yeah. Some of those RPGs which get too meta, and we have to, like, draw maps stop and it, stuff. Stop, 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 like, stop! It's like heaven for me. I love it. But I'm like, oh, do they want to watch us draw maps? <laughs> That's right. It's like, is that what they're here for? They're all about the maps. But, you know, we're just showcasing the games. But I would say, yeah, this is in a category of, like, difficult but it's good we can use difficult sh we can show off more of the level maybe that should yeah be that's goal. what i'm trying to do because at this point it's like what is the, the fact that we that can't egg? even like and it's so steep because you lose your fucking flower so you get one go at the flower <laughs> yes, you do and then you're done yeah go off to the right see what happens uh, i don't think it's gonna be anything oh it is branching maps oh there's the duck well, I oh, think look, I, that has to be unlocked. I guarantee you gotta get the first one, then the second one. Ooh, that's a nice spider. Wow, that's really nice. Okay, so this look is possible that. now, man. Although, I something tells me that that other bird is... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There's you... some secret on how to defend yourself, for sure. You have to... That. Or maybe it's just rinse, repeat. Maybe it's just... One flower, one... one... Thing. Well, maybe you maybe when you get the first one, then the flower comes back. Oh, each egg gets yeah. you a flower, maybe. Exactly. Oh, there you go. But I mean, you get one chance, one. So oh you you got to be perfect. My last life. And you can't. Oh, and you can't fuck it up with like hitting one of these things either. Uh, no, the flower comes back if. But it, but you only get one. That's rough, hey. Yeah. Makes sense though, because I guess like otherwise it would be difficult to scale it. Yes. Um. Uh, so you kind of get like one go. So go down. Yes. Oh fuck. I got it. I got it. Now I just have to survive without touching anything. Which is, I have yet to be able to even get past the first level. The problem is the Bird flying person. is so inconsistent. The flapping. You press the button and sometimes Ooh. it flaps. Sometimes it doesn't. It looks like Ant Man. Also. Do you know what I mean? Like little little little, uh, little ant antennas. Really, dude. Really? How do you defend yourself Holy against fuck. that? Like he just comes out dead. That's There's... insane. That we've never seen that happen before. <laughs> no, because we've never done that. It's before. like we get you get the egg, and they just wreck you. <laughs> And, there's, and the thing is, is now we have no defense. Our one defense it is gone. Oh, wow. Wait for that one to drop. Like, the level design is beautiful. It's gorgeous, and the enemies are gorgeous. Bat out of hell, man. It's fucking ah. so true. You get, like, wrecked <sighs> up against the wall. Whoa. Or he's like a flying squirrel, too, you know? Does up fly? No, it doesn't. Weird. Okay, pressing right sometimes flies as well. I feel like you're just going into like a hornet's nest almost, you know? Everything's Look, an enemy. Sometimes pressing right makes you fly. Yeah, the controls are wacky. I think that's where I was bucking up all the time because I would get scared and start hitting the D-pad. I should have just not been doing that. <laughs> I'm going to go to the left now. I don't think you can because... I don't know. Yeah, for sure. I saw you do it, but like you made it through, but you just got killed because no, you no, can't I, do anything. No, no, I've never made it through. I didn't make it through that ever. Oh, what? That must be a thing that gets opened. Exactly. I think once you do the first one, 
Maybe the egg can kill it too. That's a good point. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe the maybe you have to then like um, aim underneath the guy and use once the you egg, get an egg to like. Well, kill I'm gonna him. get the egg right away and then see if I have any other things like this egg. Now, do I have a way to shoot? No. There's no way to shoot. Like maybe this egg I can. Man, that seems like a spaceship. Like, am I wrong? Yeah, it's your. Well, it opens and closes. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> it's more like a space egg. Space bird. Whoa. <laughs> it's a space bird. It's got a torch. This just looks like a half eaten mushroom to me. Yeah. Or like a bouquet of flowers. It is really hard. It is really hard, and it's the controls and the mystery of how this game even works. Well, yeah, and it's also tricky There's because no it's very thankless. Um, if and... anybody can look for instructions, but this game is, like, super obscure on the internet. Like, there's nothing. Oh, that... Like, I don't even know what I did there, and it barely hurt me. Yeah, it's like... You, it almost felt like it's just, like, lucky, man. I think that's what he was working on when he was, um... Like, like that, that. That's that is fucked. garbage. You and touch now you're the wall done. And it sucks you in. Oh, oh, it's frustrating. I look up a Japanese game called uh, Irritating Stick. I have an idea of what I... that game might be based off of the title. I think I've seen that game before. Is it? Is it a rotating stick that you have to move in a maze? Is that? Is that the one? Something like that. DJ Mips as well. I don't know if I've met DJ Mips. Yeah, I've I've seen his name before. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I mean the graphics are amazing. I like the game. The, 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 the look of it. is insane, and like actually the movement is is surprisingly good, yes. except for the fact that it's like extra hard. It's, I mean, it's random. Like, watch. Okay, here I go. Button flap. Oh, now it's behaving. It's behaving. I think it's when, like when you press to their left. It sometimes flaps, but it doesn't flap when you press to the right. Yeah. Like ever. So it's messing with you, unless my controller's set up improperly. No, I think that's just the way that it goes, man. And it's also tricky because, um, I mean, if I were to, like, give, not that this is ever going to make a difference, but, <laughs> I mean, I, in, in all honesty, like, it's pretty thankless to have the walls kill you, like, in the like yes. opening level. Like, it's... Especially when there's enemies, too. Like, don't make the walls kill you when there's also enemies. I mean, ha it's Brutal. totally cool to have areas that are, like, make will kill you. Like the first... But please make that, like, I don't know, at least episode <laughs> two. Like, at least yes. level two. Like, and make them red with, <laughs> like, lava walls. Like, not this yet. Not this. Because the thing is, is that it's so morale killing in a game where you can't even do the, f you can't even do, like, <laughs> the second thing you're meant to do. Yeah, I Hold think on. this I gotta, was one sec. I gotta blow my nose. I'm sure. Like, I think this was a work in progress that he just gave up too early on, because the concept is really, really cool. Well, yeah, it's, there's so much there. There's a lot going on here, that's really good. Oh, yeah, we're so close one. to a really good game. Yeah. Actually, we're one. pretty much there. It's just we. <laughs> yeah, it's just the collision and knowing what the hell is going on. Maybe yeah, this is level. like so beyond us being able to like do any of this. Oh, nice! It's a pitfall, dude. Is that a boss? And see, now we're trapped. <laughs> oh, we are trapped. Like, look, we're fucked. Oh, oh no, we're no. not. They should have just. And then you just get sucked in. <laughs> oh my god. So it looks like we looked saw all the levels. Yeah, almost. I would love to see this game with like not oh the walls god. killing you. Yeah. Because even then, it's hard enough. Like it with those is. birds flying at you, like it's... coming out of nowhere. Yeah. All of a sudden, and just go death. Even if you have all your health, death looks ninety-seven percent complete. Yes, I know it's that's, but it's man, it's that last percentage that really makes the difference, you know. Oh yeah. In anything. Yeah, but um, I wish he would continue. But it's been two thousand. It's been eight years, and he's not been on the forums in a long time. And who knows how to get in bird person contact. saga must be told. Yes, that's right. But uh, good start. Um, I didn't know it was going to be that crazy and difficult. Um, but, and you can't, the, where you can download that is in a compilation called Hacks and Homebrews version 1.2. 
um, from 2009-05-26, if you want to look that up. And Azur pointed up, is there a hardest 2600 game list? I bet there is. This I would think... go on the list, man. Well, in terms of the homebrew stuff, yeah. I, but I don't, I don't think it's... Well, we don't know how to play it because there are no instructions. <laughs> so maybe there are ways to not die immediately when those things come and swoop down and kill you. Maybe you have to like stay low or stay high or make sure you're low or high when you have the um, egg so that they get you from beneath or something. I think that's the idea. I think I think it's just really hard. <laughs> yes. It just needs to be scaled down. I mean, it's hard. It's cool to have like a, like a setting that's that hard, but to yeah. have like the entire game be just like this. Oh, press the middle. I got it. Okay. So we're on to the third game. Called Bitfrost? Which is Bifrost. 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 I don't know. Bifrost. Bifrosty. Let me get this prepared. Bifrost. There we go. So this is made by... David Weevil, a.k.a. S0C7. Uh, this is a 2019 update that was made for, for the show. Um, because oh, the, thanks, guys. Fun. Yeah, the original game had speech in it, and it was implemented in a way that it blanked out the screen and made made the screen all flippy. It didn't have the right uh, line numbers, line count. It didn't have a stable line count. So on digital displays, it just goes nuts, right? And, and it thinks it doesn't get... A signal which it's not getting a proper signal so it blanks out digital televisions blanks out frame meisters anything that's digital and goes hmm it's nothing nothing broadcasting i'm just going to go to blue screen or whatever um so this was this build is from may 14th 2019 because i said oh i want to put this on the show but i can't because it just goes crazy uh, originally was put out uh, first posted april 27th 2009 this is a 2K game. The original was 4K with the speech. Other games he's made: 1775, Bifrost, or what? How do you say that with the umlauts? The the O. Oh, I don't Frost, know. Frost, 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 Bifrost. I think it's an U, but I could be Bifrost. wrong. We need to ask our. Uh, go to the chat. S 7 C seven is generally pronounced Sock Seven. Oh, okay, Sock oh. Seven. Now I know. Oh, he's here. Hey, dude. We do have a developer. <laughs> yeah, man. There. Well, that's insane. Zero Page Homebrew is insane. It's great. That's okay. why the this is a beautiful community. It is. Because I can't believe we get to play with like howdy, yes, the developers. So, yeah, it is amazing. So, how do you pronounce Beefrost or Beefrost? Beefrost sounds like. Yeah, Beefrost. Beefrost. I don't uh, know. Yeah. Cold War, Dungeon, Dungeon Two, Paladin, Phantom Two, Slash Pirate. Dude, did we play Starhawk. Dungeon Dungeon Two? Uh, are, yes, we like, did. Remember, it's uh, the fairies and the and the and you, fighters. It's like a the... nine grid. The first, oh, cool... first one was like a one one. Yeah, it was a dungeon. It was with the fairies and the wizards. And yeah, those I, are very cool. I, I like those ones a lot. Those are on my like probably my top ten. This was very strategic on how you moved, how quickly you moved, what you used when. They felt like Final Fantasy games to me. Actually, mm. that's what they reminded me the most of the sort of pause and play, like make your decision. Yep, and and he also made a number of hacks. This is available in the Atari Age forums. Um, so he said, my first 100% ASM project, uh, posted uh, in 2009. It's basically a simple shooter. Okay. For the time being, I'm calling it Bifrost. I don't know. He still hasn't helped us out. Come mean, on, S or Sock Seven. Sock, Sock 7, Seven, help us out with this pronunciation. It's just the O with the eye, two eyes on top. We're yeah. just we're dumb English speakers. <laughs> Defend, we can only speak one language. Defend Asgard from the fire giants as they advance up Bifrost, the rainbow bridge in Norse mythology. <sighs> Ooh. Um. So let's jump into it. It's a shooter, so it should be hold on pretty self-explanatory. There you go. Oh shit. Anticipate. Uh, so here we go. First playable work in progress. And it's still rough. No sound yet. This is a, obviously an older version. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, and death to you. Oh no. And destroyed your castle. I uh, made it to 11, friends. Good news. I have plenty of space. I think I can add everything I want and still keep it 2K. Anyway, don't expect anything mind-blowing. It's just a simple little mini game. It's Ragnarok. Defend Asgard from the Fire Giants. I may take a couple of tries before you start to get the feel for it. Correct. 
work. Yeah, that's the go. truth. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, left difficulty switch is now used. Uh, B, same game as before. A, for those who have beaten oh, B, a little more challenge. Well, they haven't beaten B yet, so can't switch to A. No, yet. no, no! Oh. oh, 30. Okay, that's better than nothing. The game will not end at 100, so you have to get 100 Holy to finish shit. the game. You think you got 30 there? 30, uh, yeah. So not bad. After not your, terrible. For your second or third game. Definitely um, does take a minute. So for game A, the game will not end at 100, but we'll roll the score, attack, reset the attack level, change the color of Asgard. Clear the game three times to win. The color sequence goes yellow, gray, and green. This will be the color of Asgard, the castle in the upper right corner, uh -oh. and also your high score. Fuck. Uh oh, you just made it. 28. No. No. Oh, you made it to the... Boss. What the fuck is going quick, on? Quick, quick, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, you did it. No. He's the first boss. No, but oh. I didn't even. <laughs> Made it to 81 points. Oh, no. Okay, so it's close. better than nothing. The high scores for the two variations are considered separate instances. For as long as the game turned on, you will be retained regardless of flipping back and forth. I like um, the design of these suits of armor. That's very cool. On them? With the yeah. helmet horns? Yeah. And uh, Very your demonic guy. style, you know. I like yeah, armor a... that's like demon armor. It's very cool. <laughs> it's a little bit of style to it. Yeah. Rather than just functionality. It's to scare your opponents. Oh, you're dead. Taking too long. Oh, yeah. Okay. This binary may I'm be definitely shared not. Freely. You're going to do better. This, I'm, you're, I, My skill level for games like this is not for shooters? as high as yours. It's all about anticipating but where they're going to be. I'm not terrible, but I'm certainly no <laughs> James Earl O'Brien. <laughs> Ragnarok. The forces of evil are trying to cross Bifrost, the rainbow bridge of Norse mythology, and destroyed Asgard. It has long been predestined you would fall on this day. Holy shit. And so far, that has Where's come true. Where's Chris Hemsworth? <laughs> now is the time to perform glorious acts of valor that will live on in song in the no. world to come. No, no. Uh, one source says it's Bifrost. Oh, thanks. Bifrost. Bifrost. That sounds good. Yeah. No. RC70 says, uh, this is pretty much Army of Darkness. I uh, let Scott use no, it for Army of James, Darkness. No, James, 93. 93. <laughs> time, okay. time for you to fix it. And you blood. can rest and then get your 100. We'll see about that. I like that you're just like, uh, you got like, yeah, I like the design of these guys. Ah! Damn it. These guys are cool. Uh, the Rainbow Bridge and everything. That yeah, very it works. Cool, yeah. I've never been, like, a huge Norse m mythology guy, but, like, not in terms of I dislike it, but it was never a passion of mine growing up. Right, it's um, more about the Greek and... Greek, Egyptian, that kind of stuff. Egyptian? Oh. Um, when I was a kid, um, I, was, I was a weird kid, obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we could all assume that. But when I grew up, I had this attitude when I was, like, eight, which was that I didn't want to read fiction. To me, fiction was stupid. I was like, why would you read something someone made up? And so I would read all these nonfiction books, and one of the main ones I would read was just, like, Egyptian and Greek mythology. I would just, like, oh. go to the library and have all these books. and Good crazy stories in there. Yeah. Oh, no! Which was... Um, 92. So close. But I don't know why I thought that was, like, not made up. <laughs> but I think I was also just unhappy with, like, the level of reading you had to do in elementary school. Because oh. I felt so patronized, too. Even at that age, I was like, you know, like, all these, we like green eggs and ham. Green <laughs> eggs. I was like, what? I want to learn about, like, pyramids and mummies and stuff like that. So, But I, but what I never went through, a myth, like, a, like, a kind of Norse mythology phase, so I don't know any mm. of this stuff. Guy's pretty easy if you keep him back far enough. Yeah, and even if you don't, he gets knocked back a little bit, so it's, Thank not, goodness. it's not terrible. If you had to kill him while he still progressed on you? Yeah. Oh my god. That One of the best books I ever read, I read this no, big no, long... No, no. This guy named Peter Green wrote this biography on Alexander the Great. Hundred! And that's one, of my, that's one of my favorite books ever. How come it didn't... Uh, didn't I win? think you have to do it like, tw what is it, like three but times? I'm on, uh, yeah, I don't no, know. it's supposed to roll over. Ooh, maybe now he's... you get a snake. Hey, one sixty-two. Fuck yeah! Did I win? I think I won. Since it was already on card as Army of Darkness, I don't really plan on releasing it on card. Oh. I'm double dipping. Yeah, 
So Army somebody, of Darkness is a killer movie. I like that movie. I yeah, like those Evil really Dead good. movies a lot. Really good. So somebody hacked, made a hack of this game and turned it into Army of Darkness with skeletons, I guess. And, and you are uh, Bruce Campbell. That's right. What's his, what's his character's name in the movie? Oh, I don't remember. Ash. Ash, you're fucking right. so right. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, God. that's a good conversion. I mean, this is really good, too. So now you have to get that. Oh, you're I don't, very close. I don't know if we'll get it. Oh, it's still continuing. That's okay. Well, then you should be playing, because it's your... Ro oh. That's okay. I'm fine with winning that. Rip. Rest oh. a bit before hitting fire to start the next round. Yeah, definitely. But man, like, um, Alexander the Great, I read the biography of. And man, is that some interesting stuff. That's oh, yeah? a really good story. That one right there. There's a lot of cool history books like that. Like, I really love... That's a big passion of mine. I bet you... And that's where I bet you there's some really interesting Norse stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, of, like, real mythology, which would be cool. Oh, of actual battles. Yeah, and, and the history of that. Because when you get into the real stuff... I mean, Game of Thrones is cool, but oh. that was all based off of, like, you know... I wonder War how the, the written Ro history of of, of... of Vikings and Norse stuff. Yeah, and... I'm guessing it, it was handed down orally and then written later. Well, the cool thing that I discovered reading about, like, Alexander, which isn't, like, obviously gospel, but it was like, well, it becomes difficult at a certain time to tell the difference between mythology and fan... It and does, reality because people hype things up and, and also a huge part of their um the winners tell the stories well yeah and a huge part of their apparatus was actually making up mythology like that's how they ruled back then oh, you know the yeah. idea that like these these like emperors were also gods well was... look at north korea like that's how they um work and operate oh yeah like you know and when he took over like egypt they crowned him like um what do they call them the what's the What's the hero? What's the main the name of like um I, uh, I but in any case they you know he was yep. by by the end of his campaign he had like four deity titles from all the places <laughs> he'd like done and and that's also a huge part of how they kept going was to be like oh this person has been gifted by God or right. ordained and blah 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 so it's uh, I bet you and I know I know Vikings w were like the original they would get trip on mushrooms and kill people. <laughs> Uh, each round consists of 31 frost giants, a Fenris wolf, 31 oh. fire giants, and a Midgard serpent. So I did finish a full round. So this is a uh, Fenris wolf, apparently. Wow. Looks more like a ghost. Yeah, definitely more ghost-like. I think these guys are faster, eh? Like the red ones? Yes. Yeah, they're coming up the screen a little faster. Oh, fuck, Not any harder. You know? One hit kill. Yeah, see, I'm I'm kind of plateauing around ninety. It's hard. That's yeah, good. It's a good game. It's nicely balanced. Yeah, this is definitely what you can tell your it's... skill kind of comes in. Like there's oh, just certain yeah. games which are just, you know, they're just Full almost not a based. not a competition for you because you just have played these kinds of games so much. Yeah, that... I have played a lot of games where they have these patterns and they move differently. Yeah, I mean, I have to get into sort of a groove to do it, because it's not my default phase. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, see. The giants will come in waves of two or three. The slower-moving frost giants will attack first, followed by the faster fire giants. The Fenris Wolf and Midgard Serpent are powerful enemies who require five hits to defeat. Each hit will knock them backwards a bit. At the end of a uh, round, you will get a chance to rest if needed. The next round will not start until you hit fire. In game over situations, the score will alternate between your current score, blue, and the high score, white. Oh, okay. Keeps a high score. Hit fire to start a new game. There will be a momentary delay at the end of the game before you start a new one. Very cool game. I've been wanting to show this on the show for this a long time. This is a cool time. game, man. I'm into this. It's just super simple, straightforward, but it it's not as easy as it looks. It's not as straightforward. Because you when you shoot... Um, shoot your shot. You don't get it back till it's hit something or gone off the screen. See a fox. See this is so close. So, come on, you gotta get there. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Um, yes. Didn't the Vikings like discover the New World before oh, yeah. Columbus? Oh, hundreds like, of years. Yeah, which before. Is, hundreds of years. But that. But that also tells you about that culture. Like, how fucking crazy is it to just decide to get in a boat and go across like the Atlantic well, or Pacific Ocean? I just. I just watched a video two days ago yeah, about yeah. this. A fun fact about them Tell is them. that um, when you're going on long voyages a long time ago, they didn't understand vitamins, Whoa. right? Um, so a lot of people got scurvy <laughs> when you were um, going on long voyages. And uh, 
the Vikings had a secret weapon in terms of their diet. They had a lot of cod because they lived up north and they had um, they had the problem, a different problem of vitamin D deficiency. Um, if you lived far north um, and you didn't get enough sun in the winter um, and you didn't uh, have things with vitamin D in it, you would, well, 15. Yeah. You would, your bones would start getting soft and bend. Which is not what you want it's in the middle good. of the ocean and you're fucking paddling. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's how they were able to um, make it and do well is they were able to have uh, uh, enough vitamin D with um, the, the cod that they were uh, able to uh, dry out and take with them. Oh, you just got that one. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. One of the one of the lessons I think we I learned from Vikings too is that like literally their idea of heaven was hanging out with your friends <laughs> and, and eating party. food. Like it's and that's sometimes like Valhalla, that's all Valhalla is. Yeah. And sometimes I reflect on the culture we're in, we're like, dude, we're like we got Valhalla. <laughs> oh yeah, here. Like on we're Earth. so beyond that, but yet we're still so unhappy. Come on. Oh uh, that's okay. One more. One more, and then I think we got to call it, because... Yeah, this one is available in the Atari Age forums. Which goes just, to show that it's not, um, you know what I mean? Like, it's not as uh, easy as it no, James it makes appears. it appear. <laughs> skill. It took me a couple tries to get it. But skill is a real thing, man. Oh Well, it's just playing games like this where, like, there's a, a lot of games where you don't get your bullet back till it goes off the screen, so you have to very carefully place your shots don't start shooting like crazy you only have a certain number of times you can shoot the bullet before they're on the top of the screen but it's like anything like sports or anything you know at a certain point there is a like there's a skill like wall you know there is yeah and and like having uh, abilities with games and just putting in those those hours yeah of if, understanding different types of games because if you have to think about it it's yeah. different than like just doing it yeah it's a natural thing you can do it. just a couple more and you're at the serpent oh that's it fuck <laughs> oh no at least I, at least oh I did my, you did you made I it past my pb personal best yep you did um, Fenris Wolf is viewed from behind. Okay, so you're looking at his tail on top of his head. Oh, cool. The game I like. Easy to pick up, hard to master. Hell Those yeah. Those are really good types That's of games. That's exactly right, man. And um, uh, So you can enjoy it at a lower level still, but if you get good at it, you can progress further. So it's good when you're you're just starting and also good when you're getting better. And that's, that's really what you want with any game. Like that other game, Egg... Egg, eggy, eggy dude. Bird person. Bird person. <laughs> um, what's it called? Egg venture. Egg ventures. It's hard pretty right away. Oh, it seems instantly. It's instantly hard. But that's okay too, you know, to have those types of games. So we're on to our last game. Holy shit. And it is... Diamond, Diamond Drop from 2015 by Steve Engelhart, a.k.a. Artarius Maximus. So don't go yet. Oh, I'm on this screen, but yeah, I, won't actually, fine. I won't actually hit play. Gotta get the graphic up. Diamond Drop. Sorry, been preparing for Friday's show. So some little things have fallen by the wayside. Um, this from 2015, first posted March 10th, and this build is March 18th, 2015. It's a 4K game. Other games made by Atarius Maximus is Asteroid Escape, Bombs Away, Cave In, which we played, Cave Run, Diamond Drop, Drag Race 2600, Gate Racer, Gate Racer 2, Grand Theft Atari Demo, Inferno, Jumper, Jungle Adventure Demo, OS 2600, Primate Plunge, R-Pad Blaster, Probably Rapid Blaster, Touchdown Challenge, Turbo, and a massive amount of hacks. And this is available in the Atari H forums. Check this out. Do you see this? Speed Low high. and then high. Yeah. Low. High. <laughs> That's very cool on the, uh, it's a great the front screen. Very yeah. good, like, um, uh, demonstrating to you the speed. So I actually, this is a port of a really? game. Really? So we're going to take a look. At the original. At the original of this game cool. so you get a good idea of what it is about. That's exciting, actually. 
Yes. Uh, what do we want to go on? Screen capture. There we go. Flip back to that. Change in my screen. And we'll show you what See, it was have a, based have a good time on. at work, Azure. Thanks for hanging out for so long. Yeah. It's good stuff. Hopefully you have a good time at work. It's not torturous. Too much? Yeah, hopefully you got a good job. And <laughs> day will treat you well. Wednesdays are tough. It's the middle of the week. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, we'll show this. This is the YouTube. So, this is from an iOS game. Oh, you got to get some volume. Yeah. yeah, let's get some volume on this. There we go. Is he going to talk about it or just play it? Okay, he's just going to play it. Good. Um, so, obviously you can't rot touch the screen, but it's controlled by the joystick on the Titan 2600. Come on, get to the game. We understand. I'm gonna fast Use this. one thumb. Rotate. Okay, we're in the game. So, you've got the two balls, and you can't let them touch the lines. Oh, I see. So, but you have to take care of both of the balls, right? Oh. Whoa! As they go this by. This is going to be a mind bender. Yes. Kind of puzzly. A little bit cool. puzzly. And mostly action. You need a circular state of mind. Um, it was also released on Steam. <laughs> this is psychedelic, at least this version. Of at least it. this Do version. Do you see what I mean? Like, holy crap. Oh, so it backs you up a little bit in this game. Not sure on the 20... Oh, Whoa. smash. Yeah, it looks like it backs you up a couple... When it shows you where you failed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think That's it shows you where you harsh. failed on the 2600. But I haven't played it too much, so we'll see. Interesting. Yeah, this is very psychedelic. It's just also the square and the music and everything. Yeah, I doubt is. it's going to be as intense. <laughs> no, there's going to be some uh, some things. Even that... just the name's perfection. So you get the idea there. Okay. So let's go back to the 2600 game. I'm going to start with uh, a, a low speed. just. I would suggest that. Just because yeah. I'm um, looking at this, this looks like a bit challenging. Should we yes. jump in and try it out? Yeah, go for it. And I think it's left and right to rotate. Okay, so I mean, we're good? Yeah. So instead of a circle... It... Oh, got a little bit of volume there. Oh, a crunchy crunchy sound when it's dropping so fairly slow oh yeah you're doing you gotta, okay you gotta be careful this is an interesting game and i think you can go f if you press it down i think you can make it go faster yeah okay so now that you've got the hang of it not much to it it's just left and right to rotate um diamond drop is a small 4k game that is loosely based on the ios game duet which i really enjoyed you have two diamonds at the bottom of the screen uh, that will rotate in a circle. Well, there are balls in this. Uh, uh, either direction along a diamond-shaped path. Yeah, that's more diamond-shaped. More square, actually, but rotated. So I guess it's a diamond. Barriers will fall from the top of the screen in a random pattern. You must avoid them by circling around them. Each barrier you pass... Oh, no! fuck. I was so close. Each barrier you pass will give you a point. Oh, did you die three times? No, I died once. Why well, there's three things on either side? Wow, dang. Hmm. Maybe that's in the future. It doesn't say it's so, a work in so progress. So it says it's three, four is down. Uh, each barrier you pass will give you a point. The game will slowly get faster up to a maximum speed after you pass 20 barriers. Makes sense. So that's when it maxes out. You can press down on the joystick to move the barriers down the screen faster. Like that's, that. that's useful if you've got yourself positioned correctly and just want to bypass the barrier. Um, you're also armed with six bombs. Whoa! Per game, indicated on the status bar. Ah, that's Shit, what they're, okay, that's what Which that's. will erase the barrier on the screen. So if you get in trouble, there's a way out. Okay. That's useful if it looks like you're not going to be able to easily pass it. So far, you're doing pretty good. Your high score will be saved on the title screen. I cut and pasted a few items on the in-game screenshots. Blah, 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 blah. Any screen improvements are welcome. I wrote this one pretty quickly. So really good conversion. 
I think it, Hell it yeah, man. completely keeps shit same spot Fuck. <laughs> keeps the see, spirit it's just hard to aim because sometimes it's like very you see like driving controller would be better he does not mention the driving controller at all like a circular oh my god that'd be so yeah. perfect one you can spin infinitely we're going to try and see if it works okay but yeah. i don't think it does because that would be really nice try it out man see how it how, how she plays oh also we can try the trackball Oh, in that, joystick mode. That would be fun. Because then you can spin it Because that's right. all we got to do, man. That's all we need. So I'm going to try in low speed first. Oops. <laughs> well, that's how you do it. Pressing the button. Goodbye. Goodbye. I got seven. I didn't use any of them, so... So I watched um, Stranger Things. Yes. Except for the last episode. What do you think Didn't so far? Didn't have enough time to. Oh my god, I went the wrong way. Uh, really good writing. I mean, I don't want to give. I'm not going to give any spoilers. No, but it's. I um, agree, man. Really good writing. Um, really good ability to balance all the different stories, which they've always done really well. But but especially this season, you know. Because they. There is a lot of splitting up. Well, you and know, well it feels between like different characters. Because it felt like in the first season, all the characters were kind of at the same place in life. Like it was all about you know trying to find Will, and it was. Yeah. But, but everyone is at such different places in their lives, and such different interests and motivations that it's cool to juggle because it's not like we're juggling well, between. We know the characters a bit better now. There's yeah. an assumption, I think. And they, I think, understand, like, the actors and what they do best. Like, the Steve Harrington character is a great example of, like, what they've taken and done with him is so fun. Oh, which one is he? He's the one who plays the... He was... Uh, he's the one who sells ice cream in this Oh, one. yeah. He's he's wonderful in this season. And versus in the first season, he was supposed to be, like, a little bit of a bully to yeah. some degree. And it, it didn't quite work. It wasn't bad, but it was, like... Yeah, no, he's really good in this season. Probably one of the standout... Obviously, the um, the sh the uh, sheriff or um, yeah, the he's cop was great. Incredible. He's, you know what I, I wrote down like in my in a note <laughs> making notes about it. Well, not not it's it, good it wasn't to analyze. it wasn't exactly like I wasn't making notes about this show, but I just wrote a note where I was like, how can I relate to Hooper now in my like life more oh, than the kids? Oh, I was funny. like, I was cranky like, old man. Yeah, I was like, oh, what does that say about where my life is at? You know. Because just like him dealing with like you know not not being you know because I I do a lot of teaching and I'll, you know oh, so it's like yeah. a, the the position he was in I'm I'm like and I was hanging out with a, some not some kids exactly but they were like teenagers <laughs> Young. younger people it's like one of my good friend's sister came into town and she's 18 and I was like I feel like I don't know how to play like <laughs> I was like, as I was watching Stranger Things I'm like oh god but that's the cool thing about the show is that like y you know I find myself. Uh, now relating to it so differently than when I first watched the first season. I'm, I'm more into the teen story, too. Mm, I like yeah. them being teenagers more than kids to some degree. And it's kind of cool that there's a balance that, oh, you can relate to the adult story, you can relate to the kid story, you can relate to the teenage story. Yeah. There's something for everyone. Um, and they keep the action balance between each of the stories. They keep them kind of at the same place yeah when it's it's slow in one it's slow in the other and then they ramp it up in one they ramp it up in the other very very balanced in that way and they know exactly when to kick into a supernatural gear and yeah. you know, to raise the stakes through that and when to sort of focus on character stuff because it's it, it feels to me like it's like a very well put together meal because like to yeah. me romance in movies is like salt it's great <laughs> as part of a thing but you're not yeah, i don't want to just eat salt like and that's, that's how they do it in this one yeah, it's, it's, it's a side story. It's not essential at all to the main story. And it's just perfectly sprinkled. And there's some maneuvers they do in there, too, where I was like, I was expecting them to go one way, especially with the always the character stuff. And then they went a different direction, and I was like, fuck, that's great. The 80s aesthetic? Oh, yeah, of course. They get that down. Well, Without the, push... Uh, I mean, the... It's the, a little hacky in oh, some, some ways. Some spots, but I, it's not too bad. I forgive them a bit. There's a bit of product stuff. 
Yeah. The, the movies. Uh, Smirnoff and Coke for sure uh, <laughs> sponsored Stranger Things. Well, there's Pepsi stuff in it too. Um, there is, but they're but it's only not. drinking Coke. They never they oh. reference, but you know, any because there's like nine times like. Psk. Oh, there's oh there's huge oh it's so massive much Coke. On the screen. There's even one scene where they do a full out advertisement, and oh, they and bad. they and they did it ironically, but yeah, it's still that's the only way you can. Do it, it still didn't work. It was still like, how do you feel about new Coke? Oh, I was like bad. I was like guys, please don't do this. But it was it's the same as and in a. It's because they're coming out with new Coke again. Yep. Yeah. It's the same as Avengers, where they're just like. Oh. What what kind of what kind of spotty spray do you have, Tony? Like oh, it was. Oh, I've heard about that. I didn't watch the film. It wasn't quite. To, it was. I think that was the, to me the lowest point of all time in like uh, uh, advertisement when you ask someone literally what body spray they have. <laughs> but because um, you know people just drinking Coke is like I get it. It's but it's but it was definitely like product placed. Like because remember they like break into like a like a convenience store and like I'm gonna get to all of them, and then stop. All of them grab cokes <laughs> and are just like. Psk, Oh, so refreshing. It's like, oh, no, oh, guys. Um, casting's insane, though. I like that. Oh, yeah. I like the mulleted guy. He's so good. Oh, the... Yeah. Yeah. I can't say too much about it. I just don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. Um, I think the thing I appreciate the most about the writing of it is the way they all are solving what's happening in completely different ways. Yes. Like, absolutely, completely, like, they, no crossover whatsoever into the way they are finding out about things. And, I, and then when they get together, they're like, what? What did, what do you, how what did, did you, you discover? This? How did you get this? Like, and they're all finding it out differently. I think that's really brilliant because it keeps the audience engaged without, you know, uh, giving away too much, like, repeating themselves. They don't repeat themselves in the story. By approaching the the problem, in I don't need these bombs. <laughs> okay, a hundred, yay! Yeah, do that faster one. See how yeah. that one feels. I think the fast one just I, that was bad. Um, I think the fast one just starts out at the twenty speed. Yeah, which is seems so. to be like better. Um, I think they really showed their hand early on in the in the show which i love that like D D is such a big part of it and when i think about the show and its construction i see it very much as a D D campaign yeah where every Different character character's abilities totally and they play their part like one person is sort of like the techie people so they'll be right. the ones who figure out the tech stuff and someone's like the warrior so they whenever someone fights they fight you know <laughs> yes. and so it's almost really interesting someone's the wizard and but the wizard is very weak and you know like it's yes it's, that's right it's so interesting because it does feel very um but that's the neat thing about designing like group stuff is it's like you know then you have to you have to get the team to work together when i watched it though the first thought that i had near the end of it was, was like i really wish that they did something like this with star wars you know yeah. like how 11's arc has been going and is going i'm like why you know there's no reason why the new star wars movies couldn't have had something that plays you know the, the and there's all the same ingredients there's the mentorship there's the magical element there's the growing up there's the discovering your powers there's not knowing how to use them it, it's it's yeah. the same shit but and it's so much well better played and there's the romance and the like you shouldn't be doing this but you should yeah and i'm like i don't know why they didn't take the daisy ridley's character through some Ugh, minor arc something because it's so well done in terms of like um and then also the group stuff like stranger things is like doing what i think a lot of big movies have been trying to do yes. so well and there's yeah. so much more of it it's like you get to sit and hang out with these people <laughs> yeah for six hours each se each season and, it, and it's like how many movie references is the show i mean there's like body snatchers there's like oh, terminator yeah, yeah. there's like um, Bla blatantly though it's it's or maybe not maybe not blatantly cool I, analogy didn't realize the connection to D D. well i mean they play D D. yeah but but it's not a mistake that they it's, it's, they make the the show into a kind of D D. totally I, I mean nothing is a mistake in in writing in films unless it's sloppy I, I guarantee um, you a lot of this was based off the Duffy Brothers um, uh, D&D campaigns. Mm. I would not be surprised when I watch it, because I've played a lot of D&D in my life, I really wouldn't be surprised if someone came up with the idea of the upside-down world 
Um, and that's right. and that was at least the milieu. And then when they had to write a TV show, they were like, man, when we played the D <laughs> as kids, we had that really cool idea of the upside down world, and we fought like things. And yeah. and so I th I think that's totally part of it. Because and even in the beginning, first episode, they go, oh, it's sad that your sister doesn't play with us anymore. Mm. And I love that little detail of like, oh, so there was a point where like, and D and D's always this thing which like they wish they were doing, but there's <laughs> but nobody. But they're actually doing it. In yeah. Real life which is what so was another film um there's so many references no, there was a i thought oh it was in south park yeah when they're when they want the new video game system it's called the i can't remember what the video game system was called something 2000 or whatever and they're like oh we need to save up money to get the new system oh, and and then it gets stolen from them by some bad guy um but instead of playing the video game they're like acting the video game out in real life like they're you know going on adventures yeah like they made it very very obvious obvious and literal that this is what was happening and but they did it subtly in stranger things like they did they were on an adventure that they wish they were just playing the D, &D version of yeah <laughs> but instead they're thrust into it and it's also but it, like but if you want to see something that's very little watch that Game Cube or Cube Game Game Square, I can't remember what it's called. And I mean, the best yeah. thing ever is the fact that their fucking dungeon master is is abducted by <laughs> you know like some yes. demonic thing. It tells you everything. It does. And uh, <laughs> and that they and they never play D and D in the show really. Like they do, but it's always A tiny bit. it's always something Season like three. it's always like oh uh, we come are, on you can do better than this. Yeah, I should be able to do a lot better. Um, it's, but it's always like something where they're like, oh, uh, we're more interested in other things. Yes. Okay, we're going to play this with a trackball. I'm so bad at this, James. I don't know why you're not getting this. It's, I, I, my instincts I are I had to all, stop the game because I... My instincts are so off because like, I'll kind of like go the opposite way almost. Just watch the bottom ball Oh, that's, for moving that's because a that's, idea. that's the one that you're moving. The top one is opposite of what you're moving, right? Oh, that's a lot easier when I think <laughs> yes. about it that way. So see, like, stuff like this, it's like... Okay. Yeah. I'm going to switch out the controller. Okay, cool. Put this in uh, joystick mode. So it should be a straight swap. Hopefully oh. the trackball is still okay. Oh, that's probably more fun. Oops. So it's probably going to be a bit harder to start with, but it's probably going to be way more fun. I mean, it's not high action, so... Oops! handle on it here. Yeah, because it's... it's... Left is. It just take. It just sort of fucks with your brain a little it does. bit. Left is clockwise, and right is counterclockwise. Which makes more sense on a trackball than a joystick. My trackball's a little crazy, but here. <laughs> Would it be amazing <laughs> if I'm better on the trackball? Maybe. I, I really don't think this is what's gonna happen. Oh, do you see that? It's a little it's like, jumpy, it's, that's it's the problem. Glitchy. I yeah, love it, the trackball's though. a little glitchy. It needs cleaning. I have to open it up. So you have to be a bit more extreme. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, it jumps a bit. It's hard. And we've gotten used to the joystick input. Yeah, well... It's just sort of like... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it was not doing what I needed it to. That was rough. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh God. Okay. Okay. It's certainly like more fun, I would say. On the driving, on the rollerball. Yeah. Not not better in terms of. <laughs> no, but more. Fun. But it feels more fun because it's like, 
it feels more like um, kinesthetic, you know, like yeah, uh, no, not more tactile. That's the word that I want to use. More natural input. Yeah, it's kind of like because they're rotating and I'm rotating. It yeah, just it's feels a ball that's rotating. Tactile yeah. is the word. It feels more like I'm like oh, part of this thing. <laughs> it's this is a funny thing. I mean, I don't think joysticks will be a thing that um, really continue. Oh, did you see that? Well, they never did. Well, I shouldn't say joysticks. I mean, like controllers. Like, I really do think that um, really games will reach a point where we are um, just, you know, like our eyes or movement I, with our fingers and like. I mean, the VR, it, it didn't die a quick death. It is still continuing. It's still very small market share, I think, um, because it's so expensive. Because I and was. It has complete motion controls. You're yeah. holding. The moving controls in your hand. Darcy's yeah. played a lot of VR. Right? Oh yeah, he has a VR system, oh. and it's really cool. I imagine, dude. Fuck. But it's exhausting, like physically exhausting. It's probably hard on your brain too. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, you you're you kind of get immersed into it. That when makes you come sense. out of it, it's very weird. After playing for a long time, you come out of it and you're, you're like, oh whoa, the this. real world is is back. You're like, no, back to this show. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it does it's very natural, like going into it and using the the VR system. Because I mean you, your hands are your hands in it. Usually they do a direct translation and you walk around, so you moving in it is very natural as well. Fuck. Oh uh, okay. Good. <sighs> I don't think the driving control is going to work. We're going to do it. How about the Atari Mind Link? Oh, God, yeah. That's uh, moving things with your mind. Someday, my friend. Driving control. Oh, let's try that one out. This one might be really Like, nice. this would be the most natural input. I don't think he programmed it in. There's no mention of it. And you do have to program this very special. Oh, cool. Very special to do it. So So we'll see how this, how this plays. It's not going to, but we can work it. Oh shit, sorry. Are you pressing things? I did. I'm sorry. Okay. Don't do anything. I, I thought I would I thought I would get us there and I didn't. Whoa. That's how well <laughs> made this. Press button. Oh, is it working? Rotate? No, it's see it's it <laughs> It does other things. Oh, what's interesting about it is it speeds it. You see. Oh, it's it's it does translate like. And then it has the bombs. Oh, okay. The button see, speeds it. So I can destroy the bombs. <laughs> you have six tries. <laughs> Fuck yeah! So good. But so you can't do you, it. Doesn't it doesn't so actually it doesn't rotate work. your guy? Oh, it's too bad. Oh, that is. It just oh. speeds it up. It makes your death that much faster. So the rotating translates to a down. Yeah. Control. That's too bad. This would be a very good game for this because this says yeah, fire button did. We could shoot off the bombs, but yes. it still didn't help because this says infinite rotation. This one. Oh yes, yeah, so you could just keep going. You could just keep going. Like it shouldn't be too hard to translate it over. If he was gonna make another version of this, I would definitely put in the option to do it. Yeah. To do that. But yeah, man, Stranger Things. So we can see. Yeah. Stranger Things. Really good. Big thumbs up from Yeah, me. for season three. I didn't like season two too as much. much. Yeah. They season had, one they was had killer. Those characters in the van that Eleven went oh, to. Oh yeah. And I was like, oh my god, I hate these people. Please <laughs> leave the show now. And Tanya was saying, Oh, are those people gonna come back to this season? I'm like, please no. No. They have no room in here. There's enough characters. Yeah. Uh, he also made Gate Racer that was jo joystick only, no driving. Gate Racer. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I love that the kids are sort of getting some of them to awkward stages and just yes. like, which is so Transitional good. Transitional stages, all, all of them. Hell yeah. You know, they're getting girlfriends, they're getting out in the world, some of them. Some are you know. taller and skinnier, some <laughs> yes. are still like Oh, you the mean same. in real life? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, physically. I thought uh, within the story oh, lines. Oh, in the story as well. Doing but... tran everybody's transitioning from one stage of their life to another, like everyone. Oh yeah, and um, it's just very, which is very smart. Hell yeah, and it's cool that I love Freaks and Geeks, and I love the casting oh in Freaks and Geeks. Yeah, so course. to me, watching a show that's more like they look like teenagers, to me that's so cool. Yeah, um, and everybody is well written. Yeah, in the show, they've 
they, they have enough time to, to explore all the characters, luckily. Hell yeah. It's, it's a eight episode, 45 minutes each. Yeah. Um, so some some good games today some fun games championship golf really good Did not expect start that to be like a like a killer game yeah it's just needs a little bit more you know you know spruce up the graphics a bit get the controls a little Hell bit tighter yeah. um egg venture bird person great uh, game but it needs a lot of work in the control area and not so much death <laughs> yep maybe later death but I, we had no instructions, so and there aren't any. I, I tried uh, to look for it. Um, Beav Roost. Beav Roost. I, I can't remember the pronunciation. Let's call it Bifrost. Bifrost. Um, really good, easy to pick up game. Yeah. And um, like, it's a short game. And, and kind of, I mean, like, tricky to, for me, but like yes. at the same time, that just shows that it's well balanced, right? It's got lots of options. That's right. And uh, Diamond Drop, really good translation. I found it too easy. Yeah. Uh, even on the high speed, I could probably go forever because high speed just starts you at level 20. Yeah. And I went up to 100 points, and it wasn't getting any harder. So it probably needed a bit more um, speed and progression and maybe harder lines to get through. Um, that would have made it a little bit better. Uh, more obstacles. I didn't need the bombs whatsoever. I don't know if that was in the original game or not. He thought maybe it would be harder on the 2600. Would have been great to have driving control on it. Definitely. But great translation, it looked like. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dan AVC. Yeah, thanks, dude. Um, and thank you, everybody else who tuned in and, and we're you, chatting. And you're going to get to see a lot of our faces. And we're going to get to see a lot of you guys <sighs> on Friday. Friday. Hopefully, it won't be too much yawning. Oh, no. It's just my, <laughs> just my end of the show thing. yawn. Um, Ice Bosta and Splendid Nut, uh, Sock 7, now we know how to pronounce yeah, his name. Yeah, Sock 7, man. Sock 7, DW. Uh, Thunkist, uh, Militant Buddhist 1, Azure 6502, Impaler 26, RC 70. Azure. Splendid Nut, I think I said, DJ Mips. Uh, Mallard Season. Ground Trooper, Mallard Season. Anybody else? Thrust 26, the... Thomas Yentz. Um, who we're going to be talking to Ground on Trooper. Friday. Ground Trooper. Uh, I think that was it. And thank you again, Ground Trooper, for subscribing again. Um, good show. Looking forward to Friday. Yeah, yep. me too, guys. It's going to be pretty it's gonna wild. It's going to be quite a, quite a big show. A lot and of... thanks to this guy for putting it together. Oh, doing It's a no. fair amount of work. Yeah, but I thought it was something good to do. I Raise some so. money for Stella, which benefits everyone. And it's a, it's a really good time of year to do it as well. Like, if we're ever going to do a marathon, yeah. summer... Summer's good. It's yeah. perfect. Um, so tune in on Friday at noon, which is one hour before now, two days from now. Yep. <laughs> for people in other time zones. And we'll be going uh, for 12 hours, playing some games, getting some call-ins from lots of developers. So the people who... Uh, the person who wanted developers in this show. It's gonna oh, be lots oh, you're going to get some developers. All, some, all the big big names are going to be there. Um, we're going to be auctioning off a bunch of one-of-a-kind signed items. We're going to be getting some donations. Uh, you can challenge us to something if you donate some money. Ooh. You say, oh, you've got to play this game because I donated money. And we'll have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to push through. Oh, that's going to be right. fun. That's going to uh, be really fun. Uh, Dan AVC says, I'm trying to watch Stellathon on Friday, but I'm in the process of getting ready for my convention on Saturday. What's your convention? Yeah, let us know. Yeah, tell us about your convention, dude. Uh, too late, but you could have tied the award show winners with the Telethon somehow. Well, that's pretty far apart, like six months apart from the, from the it's award a good, show. It's a good idea, but though. It's some a... of them are going to be on there. <laughs> John, John Shampoo is going to be on there. Yeah, uh, man. Oh, yep. He's at Video Game Summit. Video games on it. Oh, very cool. Oh, cool, man. Hope to watch some on Friday, but we have gauss, ha house guests coming to visit. I'm sure they would love to watch the 12-hour marathon. Sit them down and... Say, this is what I'm all about. I watch this show twice a week. You and guys it, need to watch it, And if you too. love and respect me, you're going to sit down, and I will take it as a personal slight if you don't watch all 12 hours with That's me. That's right. You we'll know, probably it's... never be friends again. <laughs> so, uh, not so much. Just so you know, the stakes are high with my love of Zero Page Homebrew. Well, you can have them in the living room. Have have the show on nearby. That's you can right. just kind of watch it out of the corner of your eye and go, yeah, yeah. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, to everything I they're see. saying. Uh, still playing games? Okay. We can... <laughs> 
Um, so yes, and we'll be doing going for some high scores. Ooh. Um, we're gonna be playing. <laughs> James will be going for some high scores. Yes. Yeah, be... <laughs> well, I'll try to do my best. <laughs> the winning games, not necessarily the people. Ooh. Um, so lots of things happening. We'll be busy. We'll be eating lots of fun food, candy, yeah, man. chips, uh, pizza. What am I going to bring? I got to bring stuff. Yep. Bring some stuff. Bring some yum, yummy food. That'll be good. Uh, we're going to have Erlen there. We're going to have Darcy there. We're going to have Tanya there. We're going to have myself there. It's going to be a full house. We're going to have Pixel there. We're going to have Atari, Atari there. there. We'll yeah, see. they'll be down here because there'll be so many people that'll be like, hey, I want attention yeah. too. Yeah. Or they might just hide. Who God knows. Pixel they, might be. Yeah, they're both pretty uh, outgoing cats. Yeah. Um, but they're pretty lazy in the summertime, it seems. Cause yeah. Because it's like... hot and they're just lounging upstairs or the, the doors open upstairs. So. They're cats. What else is there to do if not rest? That's right. and... There's a, there's a cat that's trolling one of James's cats. Yeah, there's hilarious. this kind of orangey, beigey cat that uh, is getting up on our balcony. and Sleeping on the chair. It was sleeping on the chair a couple of days ago. <laughs> Luckily, the cats didn't see it because uh, Pixel was hissing at that cat a couple be days so before upset, that. Because um, the cat had gotten near the balcony and they're like face to face, like two feet away from each other. I like to like, imagine it's like you're hanging out at home and then you peek out and someone's just barbecuing in your barbecue, just dude, flipping burgers, just being like, burgers. hey, and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? And you try to open the door and it's locked and they just wave at you and they just eat a hamburger. Like, that's what mm. I think is like his perspective on the thing. He's like, what is this Stellathon in honor of? Well, it's in honor of the, um, the emulator Stella. Um, which is the Atari 2600 emulator, which all of the developers use to test out their games and also debug their games and make sure they're working perfectly. And it has been going for decades. And also people use it to play games on. It's on the Retron 77. It's built into a lot of emulation. Absolutely. Um, like hardware emulation. It's uh, really, really, really advanced. And also, they do a lot of great work on it. And so we want to make sure that that great work continues because developers use it to make the games that you get to play, all the Absolutely. homebrew games. So it's very, very useful. And they put a ton of work into it. So I thought, because I donated to them a couple months ago, and, I don't, and, and you get your name added to a list. Yeah. And I saw this list, and it was short. And I was like, why aren't more people donating to Stella? So I thought, well, let's do that. Let's make sure more people donate to Stella. And I got all the developers on board to donate auction items. And those will be going up on eBay. And you guys can bid on them to raise money for Stella. And, you know, you get it to watch us play games. Stella benefits. And then everyone benefits. Um, so that is what it is in honor of, is Stella itself. And the great people who put in tons of work um, to continue on the great work of the emulator Stella. And also just to have some fun. And, and play to have some, some games. fun. And to get a whole bunch of time to set aside to play games on the Atari, Atari 2600. Yeah, and it's a cool little event, you know. It's yeah, like it's a, a fun event. way for us to spend our summer and doing something that's actually decent, you know. Yes. To sort of spin our insane obsession with hanging no, out and playing games. Normally we're ruffians outside harassing the uh, community. That's but right. this gets us off the street. Yeah. In, into our homes, you know, doing something good. <laughs> you know, less houses will be molotov by me, thanks to That's this. That's right. We're really protecting the community from Erlen's uh, trolling yeah. through the nights. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, I'm Bulletin like, Buddhist is out of here. So, good luck on your conference call. Yeah, dude, good luck. We'll and see you on the 12th, and we're going to see everybody else absolutely. on the 12th as well. And it's going to be a good time. I'm, yep. I'm, I'm looking forward so, to it. So, tune in for all 12 hours, see if you can make it, or totally. tune in for one hour. Or watch it later on... Yes, watch it later on uh, Twitch or YouTube. We'll probably post it in um, three-hour chunks, four three-hour chunks on YouTube. So. Ooh, it's this smart, man. Cause yeah. like, it'll just it's drift <laughs> after 12 hours. It's no yeah. way that it'll stay synced for 12 no, hours. No, so it'll be easier to do it that way, especially if you're watching it lower than 60 frames a second. Yeah, it'll just... So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks so Once much, again. guys. Some good games today. Some very um, what fun would games. you say was the, the, the game of the, the day for the you if you had to game? pick? It's, well, I wanted Adventure to be it mm -hmm. because it just looks really nice. 
Um, I'm thinking I'm definitely going to go with championship golf. I was, I'm, I got to say the same, <laughs> man, which is like, it's, what is happening? That is surprising. I would say Bifrost is probably a, a close second for me. Yep. And, and Diamond, obviously, is If there's is a couple third. of additions to Diamond drop, it would be a little bit higher. And then uh, um, Egg Venture is... 10 out of 10 potential. Potential. Huge potential. Potential is insane, but like... I love those type of games where you have to thing, move things back and oh, figure totally. out puzzles and open doors because you've moved this back. But it's just... It's crazy and it's hard and it's weird and it's too deadly. And... Well, it's weird because a game is meant to be fun. Yeah. At the end of the day. And I just... it's When something is too hard, it's not fun. But if something's <laughs> yeah. too easy, it's not, it's not fun, fun either. It's so that it's balance. finding that friggin' sweet spot. And it's way too far on the scale on hard. Oh, yeah. Right now. Uh, but championship golf, oh my god! But amazing start. Um, it has to be said, the design of like the characters and the environment gorgeous. is insanely gorgeous good. Gorgeous on adventure. I'm like, what is? We got bird person. We've got like <laughs> bird fluffy we've person. got so much cool shit going on. It's, yeah. It bums me out that it actually isn't uh, as as much fun. But and he stopped developing it, so yeah, that's really that's the sad it's, thing. It's like sort of okay. So uh, we're done. We're out of here. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see everyone. On Friday, bidding on auction items, watching us play games, 12 hours of games. Yeah, it's going to be lots of fun. So we'll see you on Friday at noon. Check your local listings for when it's going to be there. Um, and uh, we'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.